Welcome everyone to episode 10 of uh, The Core. With me today is El Luchadore Savran down in your bottom right. What's going on, Savran? Hey, not much. Just having fun. Starting the show off right. Yes, we're starting a live show off right with tons of bugs and errors and mistakes. As it I should blame be. One of the other hosts. Mm -hmm. And right below me, over right there, is the one and only Macardia. What's going on, Mac? Uh, you know, not much. And uh, enjoying a nice drink and uh, wondering why you're not again asking Sovereign if he'll suplex you because that was very interesting. Um, because Watch it. I realized that in hindsight, when I asked him to suplex me, it sounded really, really like I was coming on to him. So I'm going to not <laughs> do that again. Uh, but also on my right, top right, God damn, this mirror thing. More Q. What's up, bro? Hey, I'm about about me, Q here on episode 10 of The Core. That's right, we've got the nine lost, lost into the abyss episodes that will never, ever be unearthed unless we get a tremendous amount of money from our Kickstarter. Well, all I can say is, I'm so glad you said suplex and not asking if Will was going to pile drive him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, me too, me too. Yeah. I'll yeah. be honest. I'm kind of glad I didn't ask you to do that either, Will. <laughs> Because Maury would never let me live that shit down. Yeah. And we're not doing any submission holds either. Just to let you know. It's uh, not going to happen. You've ruined Maury's day. He was hoping if to you want, though, I can find hold. you something on over at kink.com where they do um, female wrestling and they, they put each other in in really weird positions and tickle each other's fancies. Um, uh, you watch this all the time. Yeah. So, the Core is a, a general gaming show, and we're here to talk about games, but seeing as this is our 10th episode, I wanted to introduce everyone. So, why don't we start with uh, Mac. Mac, what kind, of, uh, what kind of games do you usually play, good sir? Uh, I play a lot of shooters. Uh, I play a lot of casual games, according to Mori. Sorry. Uh, a lot of shooters, uh, open world adventure games, uh, Fallout, like Fallout, and... Uh, Skyrim, and then also Call of Duty, Battlefield, games like that. I play both on console and PC, and uh, console-wise, I tend to lean towards uh, Xbox, but I do enjoy PlayStation as well, so I'm and not going to start no console war here. What consoles do you own right now? I own a PlayStation 2, um, an Xbox 360, an Xbox One, an Xbox, and uh, Super Nintendo. You have a Super and then Nintendo? I have Fuck yeah, I got a Super Nintendo, bro. Me too. Just I'm also know. trying to get my uh, my my mom and my stepdad to give me my to give me their NES so I can play fucking Duck Hunt. You should do that. Uh, Best game ever. So why don't we head over to El Luchadore uh, Sovereign? Uh, El Luchadore. Yeah. Uh, what games do you usually play? I'm generally playing the action RPGs, so the Diablo threes, the. Uh, Marvel Heroes, uh, Quest for Mighty Loot, those kind of things. It's kind of really right up my alley. Um, also, I'll touch on some of the sports games, because I, I still play those. Yes, yes. Sports. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, I recently played one. Which one? It should be interesting. Yeah, FIFA. FIFA, FIFA World? No, it was that FIFA, guy, FIFA that guy, 2014. He Sorry. told me to was get it, it. Wait, you played a football game? Soccer. Yeah. Hold Same on, thing. You, damn it, Super you ruined my joke. I was going to be like, if you play Philadelphia Eagles. Um, so, anyways, that joke no, was not the felt. Eagles. No, he was playing the a Eagles. soccer game. Yeah, the Comment Union, more? buddy, the Union. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, so, also a PC and gamer, or I should say console gamer. So, and, uh, lots what, of things. What do you lots own? Of what is Mari? What do I own? Yeah, I'm watching Mori too. That's a mistake. I should never do that. <laughs> mm -mm. i got to turn Mori off. Not when you're trying to get a train of thought. No, Will. Avoid turn Mori on. <laughs> Is he going to suplex you? Is he Pile to drive on. Mori? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry for everybody who's only listening. You're missing yeah, out. If you're not viewing us on YouTube, you're, you're missing out. Um, anyway. So um, what do you let's own? Let's see. I, I have an Xbox 360, Xbox One. A Wii, a Wii U, and a PlayStation 3. And if we count my kids, I have a 3DS and... Let's see. That's about Wait, it. 
your your children are technology. Are you are you Davros? No, they have technology. Oh, they have. Okay, okay. I'll just I'll just you know want to put out there that before we get child abuse line saying that you actually call your children your technology. technology. Yeah, well, and I I can join Mac and say that I have another gaming platform. It's an iPad. So oh, just so I can. God. That's not. <laughs> That's not a gaming platform. Yes, it yeah, is a well, gaming platform. It's there totally are games game on that platform. In fact, I play one of the same games that you do on that platform. Mm. I don't play it on platform. And you don't play it. He does play, I do it, play it on that platform. So uh -huh. while we wait for Mac to reconnect, because his internet is great at his parents' house, uh, Maury, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, my friend. What do you usually play? MMOs. Oh, I'm a bit of an... An MMO junkie. I like I like the long term investment in games, but uh, I, I still like to jump into uh, Diablo three, and um, you know jump into uh, MOBAs on the other occasion. And RPGs, RPGs are good. You know, um, I am a massive fan of Skyrim, like massively. And Final Fantasies, I really like them. And I haven't played them for a while, but yeah, FIFA sports games and such, I may have to uh, maybe shell out a little bit of cash on a on a controller for my uh, PC and then try uh, FIFA on uh, on the old on the old reliable PC there. Well, yeah, actually, guys, I don't know if we've talked to you guys about this, but for our, our viewers, um, me and Maury may be coming out with a series or something where, where me and him face off uh, in Revolutionary War style, the US versus the UK in various games. And he's trying to drag me into some soccer game, but, you know. Yes! Um, oh, FIFA World? Yeah, FIFA World. It's, it's free. Yeah, I know, that's why he's dragging me in. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, if, if you don't spend money on it, then you're gonna suck. Just to let you know, you gotta get your packs. Gotta get my pack. Wait, packs of what? Cards, so you can get Cards. players. In FIFA? Yeah. A card game? <laughs> No, basically the cards are players. Are players. And then, yeah, you can trade them and all this kind of stuff. It's actually something that they released in FIFA 13, I think it first came out, called the Ultimate Team. And basically, you pick, you started your team, like, you know, I, I would call it um, FC Marple, because that's where I'm from in England. And uh, then you would start off with, like, really, really shitty players that, like, you know, still playing wheelchairs and things. Not, not that I'm saying anything against wheelchair players, <laughs> but like they're really old and decrepit that you don't want, you know, like say they're ranking a 35 or something, but then you spend like, money like... and then you get cards. And so like, you know, you could get Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi or Tim Fato, Howard. Wayne Rooney. Tim Howard. Nobody wants Tim, Tim Howard. Like, well, the man, thing is with Tim, he's the like, if you're you're safe. Safe. Right? Tim Howard <sighs> saves a lot of shots because America concede a lot of shots. That's not good. <laughs> That's bad in the world of football. I have no, no idea what you guys are about. talking about. I, just I know. Anyway, I, it's like America <laughs> didn't go past Europe or, or England in the, um, the finals or something. Right, it's crazy. They, they did go uh, past England. So, Mark, you, I have one one more question for you. Um, okay. And you can't lie about this. What okay. kind of gaming platforms do you own? Uh, I've got a PS Vita. I've got a Nintendo DS original. I've okay. got. We've got an Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, I've got an original Game Boy. That's badass. Um, and and I've got the little Guitar Hero thing that came on my DS. That's not really a game, but it's cool. So I hold it like this. Oh, that's yeah. Awesome. yeah I have <laughs> so that. It's like like I'm having like an epileptic fit. <laughs> you know, I feel really bad hard. because. I left no. out all of my Nintendo consoles because I have a Wii, a DS, and a 3DS, and I completely forgot about them. Oh, I did so, have a Wii, but... That sounds like you have an agenda, Mac. Oh, no agendas! No, no, no agendas. agendas. No agendas. Okay. So, just to talk to myself about myself for a oh, bit. John, uh, John. Oh, John. Yes, hello there. Hi, hi Maury. Um, How are you? Now, why don't you, um, why don't you go into, um, you know, what, what the people of, of, of the core, our core... Fan base. Oh, that's what can they expect to kind of hear from your take on things? What what, what games consoles do you own, and what and what do you play? Uh, right now I I mainly just play on my 
PS4 and my PS Vita. I do own a PS3. That's basically just a Netflix machine at this point. I also have my, uh, my PC here. Uh, I play primarily everything. So, uh, just not very well. Just not very well. None of it very good, <laughs> but I play a lot of stuff. So I'm pretty diverse. I have very diverse uh, interests. Um, right now, specifically, like I've been playing Watch Dogs and stuff. We'll get into that a little bit later. But... So what you're saying is you basically you've got the attention span of a injured Mildrable. spaniel. That's All of those are great examples, yeah. yeah. You possibly need um, putting down. Ooh, that's mean. That is mean. Well, what would you do if you've got an injured spaniel? Like a spaniel, it's a dog, obviously. Like, would you pay hundreds of dollars? Let's use the Americanism dollars to have it fixed so it's not lame anymore, or would you? Puk, 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 I would not. Puk, not cheaper. Puk, I don't know how many times you have to shoot a dog and kill it just once. You don't have to. I don't remember Dude, watching Maury last really week. Like the shooting. This one for the other three legs. Dude, you need to play You're some You're going to cripple the dog. So it's like, oh, wow, this dog has one broken leg. Might as well break the other three. No. no, so we... no it's, it's just because it bleeds out slowly. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Please address all hate mail about uh, animal rights and PETA crap. Animal, uh, animals don't, animals don't, don't, animals don't have rights. People have rights. No, I, oh. I, I know. Oh. But so we're not going to get into that. Treatment of zombies? Uh, yeah. Not unless they make a video games game consoles, about it. Games consoles are animals. PCs are people. So games consoles don't have rights. Ergo, they shouldn't really have coverage. That's a great well, analogy that we're going to move on from. No agenda, sir. <laughs> so, oh, you're alone. we're going to go He's ahead and message. move into our new segment of the show. And every week, we're going to start the show off with a bang, go right into the nitty gritty, and let's get into the news, guys. Wait, that's not, that's not yeah. call it a bang. Let's call it a... <laughs> Alright, we're getting right into the... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Setting trends on episode 10. Hell yeah. All right, guys, so we're in the news. Um, let me uh, start off here. So, guys, I'm sure some of you have heard this. Cliffy B, the man, the legend, the creator behind Unreal and that other bro -y game. Um, what was it that I didn't play? It was on Xbox. Mac, help me. Hey, got a what? gun with a chainsaw. What the hell is that? Gear of Wars. Yep. War. Oh, Gears of War, yeah. Yep. So, he's uh, he's working, he's come out of retirement, he's formed a company called Boss Key, and he's making a new game called Blue Streak, and Martin Lawrence nor Dave Chappelle is in it. So I'm kind of depressed. Well, I don't know, because, like, how are they supposed to get the diamonds? I'm really confused. I don't... Well, it's in the police station, so you just gotta act like a cop, and then you can get in and get in the air duct and get the diamond. You end up in Mexico at the end of it. Wait, like, wait. You're like, you do, and you act like your girlfriend is huge once Dude. you get out of prison. Dude, yeah. On, on, on blue streaks, what you get on the inside of Smurfs underpants? Yes. That's a good question. I think it is. Probably. If you watch the Cartoon Network adverts, are not blue, they're green. It's just your TV. Oh. Yep. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh,. But on a serious note, um, it's interesting because he's working with Nexon. These are the folks that brought you Maple Story. Uh, they have a strong presence in the Asian market. So it's going to be interesting to see what this game is going to be uh, designed for and what their goal is. I have a feeling that he's push He's going to try and push this towards uh, the esports scene and try and capitalize on that because that's a huge thing in Asia. Uh, games and professional game players are looked at as rock stars and actually... Uh, I watched Free to Play, and you can definitely, they give you some great examples of that in that uh, film. I, uh, I started actually watching Free to Play, but then I had to uh, uh, pack up my rig and move it over to where I am currently, so I actually didn't get to finish it. Was it a, was it a good view? It, oh, Free to Play was great. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, you should definitely check it out. But moving on in the news, Xbox. How do, wait a minute, how do I wait. unban somebody from Twitch? Who did you ban on Twitch? MDL. Oh my no. god. What? He said, he said I look stupid in my bandana. So I've timed him out. Oh god damn it, Oh, he's such a nice guy, though. You like MDL. What the hell? Don't worry. As usual, I've gone in and I cleaned up more accused mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're good. It wasn't a mistake. I meant to do it, but I just felt, <laughs> I felt like I should inform my co-hosts. 
Okay, all right. Because yeah. you didn't know how to well, fix it. We we yeah. appreciate your honesty. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. uh, Mac, you have a bit of news you wanted to go over, right? Yeah, uh, Microsoft is people uh, losing jobs. Not yeah, uh, you know, I've been there before. Yeah, it's all too. good. Uh, Microsoft is uh, closing Xbox Entertainment Studios. Um, this is not actually going to affect a lot of the things that people know the Xbox Entertainment Studios for at currently, um, which is Halo TV and Nightfall and then uh, their show Signal to Noise. Uh, those are still going to be in production, but as part of, I think it was 1,900, 1,800 layoffs or 18,000 layoffs. 18,000, yeah. It's a, it's a large layoff. Uh, Xbox Entertainment Studios is going to be closing within the next few months. Uh, it kind of sucks because I know that uh, Xbox really pushed their um, uh, what is it, their entertainment multimedia kind of structure for their console. And they say it's not going to affect it completely, but it, it's kind of, a, kind of a sad thing because I don't think you're going to see many more Xbox originals other than those that aren't closing down now. So, so basically Xbox are really shitty and they're going under. And so what they're doing is they're cutting loads of heads off people's necks to try and stem the bleeding. No. Well, I don't know. If yeah. Nintendo's still around, I doubt that this is going to be the end of Xbox. My understanding <laughs> of the majority of the layoffs is actually it's coming from that recent acquisition of Nokia. Yeah. And they're going to... Uh, uh, Microsoft acquired Nokia. Mm-hmm. Which is uh, why what? my Windows phone is Who? a Nokia. Yeah. yeah. You mean Nokia? Me and the 12 yeah, other Nokia. people have a Windows phone. Call them no, it's Nokia, because they're finished. Damn. Not Nokia. Okay. Nokia? Kia's a car. But no, I no, got no Kias! Well, it's not a car, though. It's Nokia! <laughs> it's the Nokia. Yeah. I, look, I, I, I'm just going to address the viewing public and the listening audience. No. I'm sorry. They're American. It's not my choice. I. Oh, wait, my camera's there. That was a fail. <laughs> I was talking about my <laughs> I'm sorry. There, we'll, cut, we'll cut all this out. I'll start again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, yeah. We're not yeah. anything in, out. In They're American. I can't this. help this. They talk weird. They say y'all and bird. And John says khakis because he's from Boston where they get rid of the tea from England, which is usually a conflict of interest. No, com- no. What, talk about? what the hell? Carry on with the news. <laughs> okay, I will. There was a subject, the right? What's the point? No, the point is they're focusing on games, not entertainment crap that we didn't want in the first place. Hey, there you go, Will. That's a good point. I mean, they are, they've they stripped out the uh, basically what a lot of people were outcrying during last year's E3 for Xbox. Not the most recent one, because people like the most recent one. But last year, it was like, oh, we don't want to hear all this yeah. stuff about Xbox Entertainment. And Phil Spencer said, we're refocusing on games, and there goes Xbox Entertainment. But I also you know, noticed... You know... Sorry, but you know if they were refocusing on games, they'd build a PC. Just saying. Well, oh, yeah, but you know what? I, I am I am happy at least that Signal to Noise, uh, in Halo Nightfall, and Halo TV, those are still around because I'm actually really looking forward to Halo Nightfall. And uh, Quantum Leap, or Quantum... Is it Quantum, Quantum Leap? Leap? Quantum it? Leap? Like the That's early show from like the 80s? Quantum That's a great Leap. show. Someone help me. Quantum Dream chat room. What is that? Quantum Dream? Dream. What? There's another what production the that Xbox Entertainment is doing. I can't think of the name of. Um, that is also going to survive. It's the thing that they're working in sync with Showtime on, I believe. Like they're making a game and a show. Is they're doing Quantum the whole break? Quantum. Maybe I don't know. Quantum thank Break. Thank you. That uh, sounds right. L-O-T-R law. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Quantum thank Break. You that survives, um, and it's going to be kind of like uh, that Tryon game that no one likes. True. Rift. No. The other. No. It's... Uh, oh, the, um, the shooter. The one with the fucking fire. Shit. The fire. Yeah. Yeah. The fire. Yeah. 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 That's the fire. Sci-fi. Yeah. No. One, yeah. But no one likes yeah, it. So well, do you mean? You mean? You mean Destiny for the PC? Go to hell. No. Nothing like Destiny. No. <laughs> no. It's nothing like Destiny. Nothing. Okay. Okay. So moving on. Xbox it's Entertainment done. stinks. That all these people are losing their jobs. Hope that they can find placement elsewhere. Um, but oh, Xbox doubling down on games. Sony. I imagine Sony gives them a, a game, I mean, a, 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 job? a job. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that's what Sony do, isn't it? Just like up yours to Microsoft all the time. Yeah, a lot. So They have been, but Jack Trent. Well, I guess, uh, I guess PlayStation is just trying to, you know, take advantage of whatever they can now. Oh, since, they got it. 
The last gen was like dominated yeah. by 360. They're no. just trying to push the PS4 as much as they can. No, absolutely. Yes, and they're doing a great job of it, though. PS2 is much bigger than 360. No. 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 Well, PS3 talking, was well, slim. Europe, oh, it's yeah. still like Europe. It's still it's like half and half. Uh, because a lot, like, it's a lot easier for you guys to import games from Japan and stuff, so a lot of people do end up going with PlayStation. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's, like, split 50-50 in Europe, and then Japan and Asia, Xbox, does not sell. Uh, but America, the 360 yeah. sold, like... America... Three, well, we are, we yeah. are an international show with international fans, so let's cover it factually and not say, oh, yeah, Xbox kicked the shit out of PlayStation, when clearly well, the only thing that Xbox have ever had is um, was that old Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. game that I had on my old Xbox? <laughs> yeah, because no one likes everyone it. Everyone loves that Yu-Gi-Oh game, though. Yu-Gi-Oh. The hell? Yu-Gi-Oh Yu Yu Masters, I think it was called, back in the day. I used to love it. I used to put um, a bit of Don Williams, some country on while I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Because then, because back then you could upload your CDs. Yes. I've got a Don Williams CD. Upload it onto your Xbox, and I was like, "Wow, that's revolutionary!" And I used to used to um, listen to Don Williams. You know, you're my best friend while I'm, you know, beating Kyber with his with his own blue eyes, white dragons. <laughs> that, awesome. Wow. Uh, you, uh, yeah. yeah. Stuff. Um, so how about you talk to us about a little, a uh, few more cards. Uh, Curse of Naxxramas, the Hearthstone expansion, is going to be available Tuesday, July 22nd. How about that for a uh, oh, release date announcement? Okay, you carrying on? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, Okay, I, I will start my excitement going. now. Oh my god, thank you, Blizzard. If you if you're a regular player of Hearthstone, and you know, if you get past rank twenty, unlike at least three people in this room. What? I'm past rank. Ha ha ha! I'm past twenty. Uh, you know, you'll know that the meta game in uh, in Hearthstone is pretty stagnant. I was going to say redundant. No. Well, that can be redundant because it's a meta game, so it's always relevant. That's always. almost every single game is the same. Yes, yeah, so you've got Miracle Rogue, you've got Aggro Rogue, you've got Aggro Warlock, you've got Handlock Warlock, and then you've got Druid Ramp or Token. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Although Freeze Major just started coming around again, but and then that loses Control Warrior. But yeah, we need the new cards, and on Tuesday... Get a super set, the curse of Nax Ramus, which is going to be raid content coming to Hearthstone. The first week we get the Arachnid Quarter, which is going to be a set of fights and new cards to unlock, as well as class challenges, but basically new cards. That that's what it's all about. New cards and. They're pretty good. Hopefully, um, maybe next week we'll we'll look over some of the ones that are out, and uh, maybe I'll I'll introduce some kind of decks that are making it big at the time. But all we can say is thank you, Blizzard. Make sure this keeps coming. And yes, as I said, uh, the first week is um, the Arachnid Quarter. Then we're going to get a different wing subsequently, week after week. Uh, you can do this. You can you get the first wing free. Uh, as long as you play within the first month of it releasing. Then the other ones you can buy with in-game gold or real-life cash. And I think it's $20 for the whole set, so it's actually not bad it's like paying for cash. Yeah, yeah twenty four ninety nine. So that's really not bad, you know, if you're willing to spend money on a game that you uh, enjoy. And I enjoy it, so I'll probably dump cash on them. But yeah, new cards. It's going to be so good. So good. I have a question. Lots of How death is it... rattles. I never played uh, World of Warcraft, really. So like when you say raid content, was Curse of Next Ramos like a raid in World of Warcraft? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah I thought maybe like they're... Raid. Okay, I thought maybe they were going to like implement some type of like multi-battle system where it's like you can play 2v2 or 3v3 or something, but it doesn't sound like No, that. So you're basically playing um, the raid bosses. And then we've okay. got to have their own cards, and some of those cards you're going to be able to unlock, and you know they're going to have their own heroes ability and things like that. And then there's also the bringing out an heroic mode. Once you've completed each wing, you can do a harder version of it, which is just really good. You know, some people you know really enjoy 
playing the innkeeper and stuff, like doing the um, the solo stuff. So if they don't like doing the ranked, you know, you've got this new raid coming, and that's that's really good. Fresh content for the game. I actually have a question uh, for you, Maury. Okay. Um, Magic the Gathering is a card game that I'm familiar with and I know Mac is familiar with, and when they release like a new core set, there is a ton of cards. Do you know how many cards they're going to be putting out with this uh, the Curse of Nexramus expansion? I think 30? Yep. 30 cards. 30 cards. 30 cards. So do you feel That's... that... Sorry, go ahead. Go do you feel uh, that... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tell me to go and I tell you to go yeah. and we both go. You go then. All right. Since launch, do you feel that they have been... Because, like, for me, a card game, especially to keep the meta kind of from getting stagnant, you constantly have to be releasing cards or stumbling upon new cards, which, like, um, Magic, because it's, you know, they, they print the physical cards and they ship them out, it's probably a lot easier to have those, like, uh, really hard-to-get cards. And I know that Blizzard probably does some percent chance to get whatever cards, but... Do you feel that since they've launched that they've been adding enough new cards at a reasonable pace to keep the game fresh? Well, as far as I'm aware, they've never... like This is the first time they're actually releasing cards to the game. All the other beforehand have been um, reworking of cards that already existed. You know, like we had Unleash the Hounds, where at the time, like early beta or just after beta, it, it would give every minion on the board, if it was a beast, give it charge and extra damage but then they reworked it so it gives you uh hound tokens so the only card they actually have released is the elite Torrent chieftain which was uh if you paid for a blizzcon ticket so the thing is with hearthstone is because it's online like blizzard can change things in a patch you know if, if but because I think they think the game is where it should be, maybe. They haven't made no changes, so they have just worked on getting Nax Ramas out. Um, I think when these, these five wings hit, I think it should only be three months before they bring out the next raid. I, I don't think they should leave it long. Um, I think they should... They should keep looking to bring in, introducing new cards, not let it sit. But I mean, if you look at Magic, you know, there's, there's maybe twenty thousand Magic cards because it's been going twenty years. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. And I had just one more thing, and I was wondering what you guys thought about this. Like they're doing Heroes of the Storm, which is like all of their characters from every game that they've made will be, you know, in a MOBA. Um, why do you think they didn't do that with Hearthstone? Why is it just strictly World of Warcraft? Do you guys would you think it would be cool if they branched out, brought some Diablo characters into that, brought some? Uh, StarCraft characters into Hearthstone. Thoughts? Well, I mean, Hearthstone, it, it takes place within the World of Warcraft universe, doesn't it? Of the Warcraft yeah. universe. Yeah. So, like, it makes sense that it's only World of Warcraft people. Oh, it, it's, like, got a plot to it? Well, it's, like, it's Hearthstone, it's like a... Heroes of Warcraft. That's, that's its full title. Yeah, no, I know that that's the full title. I'm just wondering why they did a Heroes of Warcraft card game, but then they went when they went MOBA, they didn't just do Heroes of Warcraft. They said, you know, Heroes of the Storm, everything Blizzard. I think because well, if, they, if they did Heroes of the Storm, it allows them more variety in a MOBA, which a MOBA definitely needs. Okay. But I feel like Warcraft has enough variety in it for a card game. Yeah, I mean, plenty um, of characters. Here, obviously, you know, sorry, Will, go ahead. I was, I was just going to say there's plenty of characters in Warcraft. It's huge. I mean, if you include the RTS along with World of Warcraft, you have so many characters to choose from, and the story keeps evolving. So you can keep generating new cards based on new expansions. There's a new expansion coming out for World of Warcraft that you can get additional cards based on the changes in the game. So I think there's enough to evolve it so that you can have this card game, yet not need to introduce something that would be totally wacky like Zerglings in, you know, in your World of Warcraft game. Yeah, I mean, there's already uh, a World of Warcraft trading card game. Um, and as far as I'm aware, like, Hearthstone was just like, maybe four people at, uh, at Blizzard just kind of said, we're going to do this. So it was like a couple of people, whereas I think they're putting a lot of development time into uh, Heroes of the Storm. Uh, and, you know, some people aren't necessarily interested in um, in just World of Warcraft, and so it makes sense that the MOBA will branch out and, and cover a lot of Blizzard games. You know, it also 
uh, opens up it to more Blizzard players, you know, who can play their favourite characters, where some people might only play WoW. And You know, Hearthstone was never meant to be a massive thing for them, I don't think, but I mean, I remember talking to you guys off air, you know, a long time ago, saying that I think this will be a competitive esport. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it definitely has kind of come about. Like, you know, Twitch, it's one of the top five games most of the week on Twitch. Um, so, definitely, yeah, I think it's bigger than they thought it was going to be. And, uh, I'm, I'm, like I say, I'm really excited about the new cards and I'm really interested to see what kind of decks I can come up with and hopefully... Uh, push for that rare legendary spot that I've not managed to get yet. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, well, and super, everybody should play. I mean, just, yeah. it's a free game and the first wing is free. So, by all means, if you haven't tried this, go ahead and try it and you get the first wing for free. That'll allow you to see if you want to spend the extra cash. No, that that's a great idea and that's a great way of doing it. And um, a lot of there's a lot of talk that Hearthstone's pay to win, but me personally, I paid a little bit during the beta, got a few cards, yeah. but I have been just basically like grinding out the quests that you get every day, and as long as you, you know, log in, complete your quests, do a few matches, you'll get some gold, and you can either go to the arena, either way you're going to end up walking out of the arena with a card pack, or just go buy a card pack. If you buy just a card pack, more you will come to your house and beat you over the head with a stick. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. But well, one thing I wanted to say on what you said, <laughs> uh, John, is you said that when Magic comes out with a new expansion, they have tons of cards. They have to because when a new expansion comes out, an old expansion gets pushed out of the competitive game. Whereas I think in War in uh, in uh, Hearthstone, just because a new series is coming out like this, I don't think any old cards are being taken out of the main game. Oh, okay. No, no. Right. They're just to add into the catalog of cards that you're going to be able to use. Awesome. Because awesome. um, like you, what also I should mention is. The Naxxramas cards can only be earned by playing Naxxramas. They won't be adding them to the to the drop chance of you buying packs. Oh. So you actually have to play through all the wings to unlock them. Oh, um, wow. That's, that, that's also um, some problem that, of course, because a lot of people are upset that you can't get them as a drop because people like playing with the golden cards, and the only way you can get them is by actually crafting them with dust. So people are thinking they're going to have to sink a lot of money in just to get in dust to be able to purchase, you know, and craft these golden versions of the cards. Well, yeah. probably. Which are, I mean, I mean, cosmetics in a in a free to play game is, you know, that's a topic for another day, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. That, I mean, that's pretty much that's how free to play games make the money. You know, is cosmetics and things like that. So. All right. Moving on to our next bit of news. Uh, apparently, people like suing game devs. Uh, Lindsay Lohan ha is suing Rockstar for using her life story in GTA V. Uh, there's a character that mirrors some of the news clips that we've seen of Lindsay Lohan's life. And um, she is suing, saying that it is all her money. Uh, and also, Manuel Norega, former dictator of Panama, is suing Activision Blizzard over his portrayal in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. He wasn't that bad, was he? So, ah. so basically, in, in, in Grand Theft Auto, there's this little teenage girl who's got a twin sister, and then they try and trick this older woman, or this other woman, to marry her, her dad, dad again. Yeah, yeah, that happens. That happens. It, that's, that's some sick... Um, gameplay in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> that oh, dude, it is it is like Grand Theft That's Auto complex. plus Japanese dating sim. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Japanese dating sim, really? Yeah. That's what you're going with. Yeah. You're trying to get the people to date. Go to hell. It made sense. I've never tried a Japanese dating sim. What the hell's a Japanese dating sim? You have not lived well. Go play a Japanese dating sim. Well, it's basically it's like, like hilarious dating sim. Like, Play you Persona get board Four, games, don't you? Yeah. You get like Barbie dating, the hell? Like, you know, you, you, where you open doors and see who's coming to take you to the prom and stuff. Yeah, you like end up in a classroom. It's got like a scene. It's a very anime. It's got characters. You do. It's all dialogue stuff. But anyway, um, what? It's like Zork. Mm, no, not like Zork. Okay, so it's not a text adventure no, dating a, sim no, in Japanese. No. no. Uh, less less yeah. adventure, more story and or they're bad sad games, day so sad day in gaming it sad is a sad day. day so why don't you tell us about a good day will 
I don't know. What is a good day? Uh, that that piece in the show notes that say segue to Will. Segue to Will. Oh my God! ESO has moved to Steam. That is kind of a good day, because wow. Steam oh sales. Now. Steam sales. Steam sales. Now it makes me uh, upset <laughs> that I bought it earlier. Mm. I could have got it fifty percent off this week right now right on now. Steam. Right the now. Scrolls online. Fifty percent off. Sweet. Um. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be good for, for ESO. It's a, kind of a surprise move. Um, I don't know that you really need to go to Steam, but at the same time, I think it'll it'll give the visibility that ESO kind of needs right now to grow a little bit more. Yeah, so, my, my whole view on the thing was like, one, this was totally out of left field. I didn't see this coming, and then all of a sudden they're like, hey, Hearthstone's on, on Steam. ESO's on yeah. Steam. I'm like, holy crap. And then all of a sudden it's on a Steam sale, so obviously you know that Steam is going to put this thing on sale during all of its big sales and try and push it. So that's going to help attract more players to the game. So you guys got to be happy about that. And then the mm-hmm. Steam community will also help you kind of connect maybe outside of the game, help you organize a little bit better. But it's also going to bring that on. I wonder if they're going to roll out Steam Workshop support for add-ons. That, mm, that would be good. That would be good. But I don't I know that it would be enough that. to make me want to buy it again to get it I'm, on I'm pretty sure that... Yeah. This will be the only time it's fifty percent off, at least for a while. Did we all seventy five percent off for the Steam sale and coming up near uh, Christmas? Maybe who knows? Maybe. Like Skyrim but, and everything else. Do you think we all have bought the game, right? Yeah, yeah. I've got two versions of it. So, like, I don't know how I feel. Like, I guess they didn't have the version I bought, so I guess I can't get mad that it was fifty percent off. You bought two versions of it. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Yeah. But they also came out with exclusives for the Steam version. Yes, there's a, a, a pet. Yep. Um, a wolfhound pet. White one, I believe. Yeah. I heard they're coming out with a brown one in the store, but I just feel like it's almost like, hey, I got a, I got a, I went out and I bought all this money on day one. I got a mud crab, and now this is a... Two mud crabs. Two mud, you got... Well, we're not all... Yeah, you get, you get two mud crabs if you got the, um, the first special. version. Yeah, but you also get the horse and um, yeah, you know. You well, yeah, the, I guess uh, we got the horse. I guess I'm happy yeah. with that. Oh, you know, I assume the Imperial Edition means you get any race, any alliance, um, and you know, the Imperial. It's obviously Imperial Edition, so, so I assume that's that all that's, they get. I assume so, and that horse. Okay. Uh, so that's the horse. all they get. Yeah, the the uh, steam is the, is the wolf pet and the fifty percent off. I mean, the, yeah, like I yeah. said, they didn't have the physical... Because I bought the big old physical box, and then I canceled my yeah. sub because, like, I didn't... I'm shitty at MOBA. Not MOBAs, but I'm shitty at... Well, that too. Uh, that's another story. Shut up, Maury. Um, <laughs> I'm shitty at MMOs. And, uh, Feed. Feed it. Uh, um, and, uh... I don't know. Maybe I'm just not... <laughs> I'm just not very good at MMOs. You know, it's John. You just haven't gotten the attention span to sit and play the same game for... But there's some games that I can play for like ever and like just like just like grind it out. But I guess it doesn't really Solitaire? feel like well, no, it's multi multiplayer games like with like shooters and stuff. Like I can play those games for you know. I, I think some of hours. it so is is to do with the community that you're with and yeah, you know, if the people that you're playing games with on a regular basis aren't playing that game, it makes it hard to have that. Um, community feeling unless you go out and find it yeah like, I mean I, I never no, really I... go ahead no it's because you know I, I played the crap out of um, Elder Scrolls Online you know I've got a, a veteran 12 character which is Max I've also got one at veteran rank 1 uh, but the guys I was playing with um, kind of moved over to Wildstar and you know I'll talk about that in my gameplay but uh, you know I just kind of moved with the community that I was playing with and that, that makes total sense if you know yeah. If you're if people you're playing with aren't playing those games, then it makes it harder if you're trying to stay somewhat active in a community. It makes it harder to play them. Yeah, I mean, I had friends that played uh, ESO, obviously, but I guess I never really played with them. Like everyone kind of did their own thing, so the game was really treated as a solo game. And I guess some people enjoy that, but I feel like in an MMO, like I guess playing solo didn't work for me. So but, I think that's level, yeah. probably why I didn't enjoy it. I mean, the level and experience, you know, I can talk about ESO for hours. Like, the level and experience in ESO is is pretty much solo. You know, they had the the uh, 
the panel of what's to come in the future and there was like you know we know we made a mistake on grouping and things like that that's something they're going to fix but it did make it hard you know you know because we're playing to launch when if if you know if you're a level ahead you know you could be phased out totally from the person you're playing with yeah is, yep and yeah, which to see their phase, name I literally, I literally just, you know, I just kind of put my head down metaphorically and, and just leveled, you know, just left everybody else behind pretty much. Um, yeah, so. you did. Yep, definitely. Yeah, John. We were yeah. supposed to be playing together, doing all these videos and all sorts, and John just never played. And when he did play, I was like 30 levels ahead, so it was like, whatever. I think my yeah. highest level character is like 20. <laughs> oh, I'm I right got. there with you, Mac. <laughs> well, but I don't play anymore. I don't play anymore, so, hey. you know. Before we record next week, someone remind me of Pod Coffee uh, before the show's a bad idea. Because I had yeah, to okay. go. Uh, Half so, a pot is okay. Yeah, so ESO, they did their panel at QuakeCon. You guys were talking about that a bit. Um, and also at QuakeCon, they gave some more information about Doom. Um, yeah. Doom, it's a thing. Mars, Doom. demons, big guns. Uh, yeah, they, they didn't, and they didn't call it Doom 4. They just called it Doom. It's probably like a reboot thing. Um, a do lot you think that, or do you think they're just going to try and make the, take the franchise more? Like, really I think I think they're trying to reboot the franchise, honestly. And I think um, I think it, it is kind of cool though that they didn't put out like a trailer. They didn't, you know, toss this on the internet when they revealed it at a QuakeCon. They kind of gave the attendees to QuakeCon a reason to be at QuakeCon because I don't know if you guys have been listening to any of the podcasts and other things out there after E3 and everyone's talking about like E3 was, it, why do we need to keep doing E3? E3, it sounds like every year there was like, this is going to probably be the last E3 and stuff like that. So it was cool that QuakeCon gave its attendees a reason to physically be there and, and see something that's not going to be posted on the internet live at the same time. Yeah. I just sort of bring up that this isn't actually the first reboot of Doom because they had the film with the rock in it, I believe. Oh God! Doom. That was. Do you horrible. remember that? That yeah, doesn't that count. Yeah. That remember that part movie. where it went first person? It was like, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. It was like, oh, this is bad. Yeah. As soon as it, yeah, as soon as it went into first person, I was like, this is stupid. I'm done. <laughs> you guys didn't taste. Yeah. 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 I taste. Nope. Nope. nope, nope. No, we don't nope. smell what more Q is cooking. Uh, um, good. That's good. Uh, <laughs> Mac Mac had a late entry. Uh, Xbox One sales have doubled no, at the new price point. Driver. Yeah, since uh, last uh, most recent updates show that over uh, compared to the month prior, sales have doubled since uh, they had the option to remove the connect. So that's uh, that's good news, I guess. You know, a lot of people don't want to connect because everyone's paranoid. Like, I'm just spying on them. I don't even think it's the connect. It's the it's the hundred dollar price reduction yeah. is definitely what yeah. boosted. Yeah, that's probably so, more of it. Because I so kind of like the, the sales. Connect. Sorry, you go go ahead, Will. Well, I love being able to walk into the room and say xbox on and the tv turns on and everything i kind of like that aspect yeah and i don't have to sign on either it just logs me in because it sees me it's like it sees you yeah it's like hey i'm here now sometimes it signs other people in when they're not in the room which i'm a little concerned about i don't think the uh yeah we may have ghosts ghosts that look like my daughter quite often but you know i think it's really kind of a shame to not get it with the connect because there are a lot of the entertainment options that are kind of cool. Like, if you can't find your remote, you can just say, hey, watch ESPN, and poof, it goes to well, ESPN. And, and also, with the Twitch streaming, um, you can have you know your little portrait, which a lot of people like on like Let's Plays and whatnot. You can have that in-game. Yeah. So you can have yourself right there, which is, which is nice. A lot of people like that. I like that feature, and I feel... I feel like there's pros and cons to both having the connect and not having the connect. With the pros, I guess, is of not having it is it's freed up some uh, processing power, I guess. Yep. So they can uh, help up third party games, which is nice. I don't think there was ever any problems with first party games, but definitely with the third party games. So yeah. I mean, I'm I'm excited to see how how this will kind of turn out. I have it, it with the connect, obviously. So I mean, if a game doesn't use it, then I guess you know that's just the game. I just won't use it for that game. Yeah, no. The Connect, I think, especially like the navigation things, like you guys say, it makes it uh, pretty interesting for the Xbox, and it is an interesting device on itself. I just think they should have launched at this price point to begin with and given people the option to just pick up a Connect afterwards. They well, I mean, yeah. 
People are, are going crazy over the price point, but like, how long ago did the PS3 launch and the PS3 launch at the same price without any peripherals? Like okay, that? but let's look at the PS3 and the PS4 now. So obviously, Sony has learned from its mistakes. With you know, PS4 has been the top selling hardware console since you know, not talking handheld since its release. So yeah, but honestly, neither of them learned from their mistakes. They're still underpowered machines. Both of them. It doesn't matter which one you look at. Both of them are. Segway to Mori. Yes, yeah, Segway to Mori. <laughs> well, are, you, are you guys still talking? Yes, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about? Uh, stuff beneath you. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'll, I'll carry on playing my uh, my mobile game. Oh, oh, a mobile oh, you game. Dirty casual. Yeah. Whoa. He, deep casual. down, deep down, it's it's kind of secretive, but he's a casual gamer. Hey, no, this is New Star Soccer, which is about having a football career. So there's nothing casual about it. No, no. he's got to manage his team. He's got to balance his budget, and he's got to get some no, stars. No, I have to. I have to keep my sponsors happy, my girlfriend happy, my teammates happy, and my manager happy. Oh God! And so is it like a dating sim, or what's going on? <laughs> yeah, Japanese no, dating sim. Dating sim. Basically, <laughs> I, I know we're, we're talking about Xbox. I know nobody really cares. So I'll talk about New Star Soccer. Basically, you get uh, these creds, which you know you can you can spend money on because it's a mobile game. Uh, and have then, you? I, I I did in the patch. I actually bought um I bought a weather add-on, so it snows and rains. Oh, on, on the, ninety-nine on the quid for snowing and raining. <laughs> no, only about about pound fifty, so it's not much. It's like four dollars. Um, and basically, yeah, you know, you get these, and then you can go and buy Rolexes or yachts or apartments, and then that gives you a boost to your lifestyle. And then the better your lifestyle, like the models kind of like you, you know. Yeah, <sighs> and then you know. Yeah, I'm dating a model, playing for a, a German Premiership team, and uh, doing quite well. Oh well, congratulations on your so, new career. So, but what I, what I heard was, uh, what I heard was them. that at the top of the show we said, "Hey, Xbox are firing a load of people," and now they're saying, "Look, we've, we've got double sales because we've knocked off a hundred dollars on this this add-on, this clip." That clips on really, I mean, well, in the year it's... 2014, is like 4.99 really that much? Yes. Yeah. 2014. Come on, people. 4.99. Step your game up. Nah. But no, I I get what you're saying, Maury. Uh, but I mean, they've doubled what they were already doing, so maybe that's still just not enough of them. But I, I think I think the Xbox layoffs one is mostly from the Nokia division and the closing of the Xbox Entertainment Studios. Nokia. I believe. Nokia. Nokia. Whatever. Whatever Morikyu says, that company uh, is Nokia. part of that. And then Phil Spencer is just you know trying to refocus on games, I guess. But moving on to our last bit of news, uh, <laughs> the Destiny beta launched for PS4 owners and PS3 owners. Suck it! Um, oh, sorry. There were some hiccups with the rollout. Uh, there were a few issues accessing PSN. People would go to... Uh, access it, it would give them an error saying it was under maintenance, probably because of the load they were getting. Um, once you were able to initiate the download, though, you're pretty much good to go, and you're able to get into the game. Um, also, that came out this week, and honestly, in my opinion, this needs to stop being news, and they just need to tell me when a game is 1080p, but the beta won't be 1080p on Xbox One. Uh, 1080p is still Bungie's target for the retail release for the Xbox One version, so they're still saying that they will get it to 1080p, uh, but it won't be in the beta, which is fine. It's a beta. I get it. But please, everyone else, stop reporting on this because we are now. And Not just caring. tell me when it is 1080p, and then maybe we'll, we'll care. But um, really, we, enough. Is 1080p the price? Because, like, over here, like, one, you know, <laughs> 99p is, like, the price of stuff. Almost so a quid. Like, Almost a quid, yeah, 99p is almost a quid. So 1080p would be £10.80? That's for a beta key. That's quite expensive. I guess you can get it cheaper on eBay. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, right. where, where else can they get a, a Destiny beta key cheaper? Oh, where can they get a Destiny beta key cheaper? They can get it yeah. right here during the show. Um, what, right here, right now? Yeah, right now. Right, right, right now? Right now? Or like, or like a minute second, in the future. I'm going to give away the PS3 code. Right now. somebody in our Twitch chat, or are they going to... Someone in our Twitch chat. So why don't oh, the folks in our Twitch chat... say something? Yeah, they have to go ahead and put in hashtag PS3 
and I'll go ahead and choose someone at random using our hand. No, 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 they don't have to put that, because uh, I've actually rigged it, so hashtag PS3, PS4, Xbox One sends out a, a killer Amazon drone that drops uh, nukes. <laughs> someone okay. do hashtag P okay. PS3 right now. No, oh, no, hashtag Mori sucks for doing that. Uh, let's see. So, chat room. Silence, Luchador. Yeah, seriously. No, you're ruining never. Everything. Not the Luchador. You cannot silence Luchador. You cannot stop his ruckus. No, 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 no. It's the only uh, reason I'm here. But while we wait Not to sure see if... Uh, actually, it looks like... Stop paw driving me. Yeah, please. Never. Be gentle. Never. never. Be gentle with him. No, nope. coming off the top turnbuckle at you! <laughs> See, every, everyone in the chat, just to say, just, just a PC player. So, PC Master Race. No agenda! Yeah. Actually, uh. Oh, yeah. Cirque, do you really want the PS3 code? Because you're the only one give that it. said PS3. I could carry yeah, give it. Give it him. Yeah. Give it him. Alright. Oh, oh no, roll, roll, roll. Come on. Do a drum roll. I'm going to say. Da, 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 da. Uh, <laughs> randomly, who's the, who's the random winner? Sir, because he's the only one that said PS3 in the chat. No, you randomly, randomly, oh, randomly, randomly, random, sir. Random, random. randomly, randomly, randomly. He had well, a sir. one out of one what? chance of winning. Dude, wouldn't that be Congrats. winning in episode ten? All right, all right, episode ten. Um, there were a thousand people that tried to to win this code. It was it was deeply Tens sought after. Thousands. Tens of thousands. But Cirque, uh, he really pulled above everyone else. Uh, he he really showed that he could do it. And uh, he got the code. So that's crazy, man. Episode yep. ten, man. Those first nine episodes, probably Whew. the funniest thing ever. Yeah, and it's a shame uh -huh. that no one will ever be able to see it. No, we're yep. going to have to do a good job. I mean, hopefully, this one's been fairly entertaining, and people will come back for episode eleven. <sighs> episode um, eight. But episode nine, cool. I don't think we'll ever top episode nine. That was the pinnacle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, pretty much yeah, pinnacle. Yeah, yeah. John was hilarious. Episode about. nine. Will actually had his mask off. It was crazy. <sighs> it was crazy. You guys what? should have seen it, but don't worry. We'll be running out oh, a, a Kickstarter man. to unmask the Luchador um, at some yeah. point where we'll yeah. raise millions off the backs of you guys and then use it on nothing important. Oh, <laughs> not Yogg's cast. Gold chains and jet <laughs> skis. We, 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 should, we should have actually got that in the news. Yogg's cast yeah, ripping everybody off. Well, what happened? Yogg's cast mate, was going to make a game. And oh. they made a Kickstarter that made them loads of money, and then they never made the know. game. Yeah. Well, I thought with Kickstarter, like if you didn't meet, like if you didn't go out with the product, they did. You didn't get the money. Well, I no. don't think it was all through Kickstarter as well. I think it was donations and things. Yeah, I think yeah. they did a Kickstarter a thing, and then a lot of six hundred thousand dollars or something. Yeah, a lot yeah, of people launch like a Kickstarter, and then they switch it over to like a thing on their own website where they keep doing crowdfunding, and it's. Like, well, isn't that kind of like what Star Citizen does? Yes. Yeah, that is what Star Citizen does. Yep. But, but Star Citizen is giving... 600000 they've got, like, what, 49 40? million now? Yeah. So... Yeah. But and I'll probably throw some money at it soon. You should. Easy. And, and yeah. they're actually giving, but they're, like, they're giving you content you along the way. So yeah. with them, I don't feel as bad um, about my, my Kickstarter spending. <clears throat> yeah. But, well, guys... That's it for the news. So we're going to go ahead and transition over to what are you playing? What so, are you playing? Dude. Will, tell me, what are you playing? Dude, right now I am still playing Marvel Heroes. I know. Everybody's surprised. We are all shocked. What's that game? I've never heard of it. It's You've never heard of it? It's freaking awesome. Okay. Never heard of it from so, all the other podcasts. Wait, is that about Batman and Superman? Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 you freaking idiot. It's not DC Heroes. It is Marvel Heroes. So uh, about two weeks ago, I think they launched uh, Mr. Fantastic. He is eh, but... Um, so not stretches. so fantastic. Is that the Not so guy? fantastic. You know, so fantastic. You heard it here. They right had... Stretch Armstrong. You meant Stretch Armstrong. I guess. He's kind of like Stretch Armstrong, if you think about it. He so stretches. His arms I mean, he's off, got some he really cool like, moves. I remember he had that little dog as well that you could stretch. Yes. Sorry, Will. I like the dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stretch. stretch bark strong. I mean, it's kind of cool that he's ranged so melee. Because he, like, throws his fist at people and goes and scoops them up. It's kind of kind of cool. Turns himself into a bouncing ball. But overall, it's kind of lackluster fun. after they just oh, did. Love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, it's pretty good. I like it because they release a new guy every month so like star lord is coming out here august 1st and that'll be kind of cool and a good tie-in to guardians of the galaxy which looks like a sweet movie if you're into the 
Which has also got another wrestler in, Dave Batista. He's playing a big guy. I didn't know you knew all this about wrestling. Huh? I didn't know you knew all this about wrestling. He's a closet wrestler. Yeah, my brother's into wrestling. He he takes part in in listening to podcasts and forums and stuff. Yeah? All about wrestling? Podcasts? Yes, you can actually follow my brother at at Stringmake or something. Or something. Or yeah. something. So you I guys really do, you do the like where you find him and follow Maury's brother. Yeah. 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 Follow me and then you can follow him. Hashtag find Maury's brother. Well. He swears <laughs> a lot as well. Hashtag yeah. find Maury's brother. Yeah. So anyways, also they're doing uh, raids coming up in uh, Marvel Heroes, which is kind of sweet. So, raids. and yeah, like an action RPG, like major bosses. Uh, ten people basically come together to beat you know, a series of bosses and so it's, it's, gonna uh, be like, it's about yeah. to come out of the beta portion of I'm, that. Uh, so start getting just like the Justice League of America. No, no, no. <laughs> Marvel no. Heroes is that like a like a is that where can I get that game if I want to get it? I've never actually played it. It's free on it's Steam. Marvelheroes dot com to download the client, or you can get it on Steam for free. So it is a free to play game, and play I have then? like a thousand hours in. What's that? Yeah, is it, do you play with a keyboard, or, or is there like like some type of peripheral? Yeah, it's need keyboard. And, nope, keyboard and mouse. So very similar, same scheme as Diablo three, but Diablo three feels so slow in comparison to Marvel Heroes. Oh wow! So okay. the action is very fast in Marvel Heroes versus, you know, to me, um, Path of Exile was the slowest out of the three. So I usually stick to Marvel Heroes because it's really fast. So, That's and it's fun. Million pe- oh, it's it's just 10 million people play Diablo and only 5 people play Marvel Heroes. Yeah, yeah myself Dude, and... Uh, Will, you're on the top 5 of people then. Sweet! Yeah. I am like that top rank on Raptor. Are you? Which is... Oh, yeah. Uh, you got your friends. Like hardcore? No, I'm not top that hard. No, it's got to be out of global. You, no. No? It, it's pretty up there. Oh, wow. I am like in the top 1% of Raptor people. Whoa. Yeah. That's an, I think the only game I'm like that in with is like Oblivion or something like that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I guess I'm pretty bad at that. So i got a lot of characters. I have almost all that they have launched. I'm only missing two. So like I say, I play that a lot. Why don't you have them too? Awesome. Is that because they Because I don't want to buy them. I'm earning them. They have these uh, Eternity Splinters that you collect, and I have to collect about 600 more to get those two. Eternity Splinters? How many splinters? do you get per match or whatever? Well, they drop roughly one every eight minutes or so. Oh, so you have to weigh 600 times eight. It's a lot. That's, that's, yeah. a, that's a lot of minutes. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of minutes. <laughs> that's, what, 4,800? Wow. I don't know what that is. Yeah. It's like For the record, it's Mac is a banker, like... so... Oh. The... Well, yeah. So, he's, he's an investment banker. I don't <gasps> recommend him at oh. all. Don't worry, guys. I have Excel spreadsheets. I know BBA. We can do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. He knows more than I do. Your slide roll. Anyways, uh, pick it up. Feel free to join me. Guess what? My name's Sovereign in game. Go Shocked. figure. I know. I know. All right. Let's see. Also, uh, we mentioned it earlier, but I was playing uh, some FIFA 2014, and uh, I got crushed. Um, the Xbox One controller that I was using uh, to control it, or the Xbox 360 controller before that. Um, both disappeared from my uh, office where I normally play. It and was Maury. I, I know. I think it it was Maury, but wanted, it may have been... He wanted to use it to play ESO because my... he loves uh, con- controllers on MMOs. No, not at all. Never. Never. That's just plain <laughs> stupid. Anyways, um... <laughs> I got a different... Oh, no, Maury, go back. <laughs> <laughs> I got a different controller, and it had all the buttons in a different order. And so I got crushed while trying to shoot. And instead of shooting, when I'm wild, wide open, I'm like doing this lobbing cross and over and over again. And I just can't ever figure out which button was the shoot. So I got, it sucked. It was really bad. So, oh, well, got to get back to my normal controller and then I'll have fun again. Okay. And then see also Hearthstone. So uh, realize that quests can hurt your ranks. So I got, uh, basically, I get play five rogue decks. And as Maury knows, I hate rogue. Rogue. Play casual. 
casual doesn't count. Yeah, that's uh, basically right. Will and Rogue is Will, Will, Will's asked me like how how he can get a good deck, and I said, well, what class do you hate? And he said, Rogue. I said, well, go and delete all your cards. Yeah, <laughs> make some other ones. And now every time he seems to get a quest, he, he always seems to say, hey, I got a Rogue quest. Yep, and it's like it's got no cards, and so I it had just sucks. Two rogue quests at the same time so um, i am back up to like eight well or up down i don't know i'm at 18 now so kind of sucks lost a lot of games trying to get uh some wins on rogue yeah no i was doing the same thing uh and my situation is a bit worse than yours because more gave me that same advice but i took that to mean any deck i hate get rid of all those cards and that doesn't work out so well um, but if you run in casual, it still counts towards your quests. Yeah, same as Arena does. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. know I never did casual. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to lose your ranks uh, for your 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 uh, damn, daily quests. Here I am losing my rank. I suck now. Got to go back and play my zoo lock. Uh, you got up. a zoo deck. Nice. Yeah, I got a zoo deck that actually is working. Back? Good. Yeah. Yeah, he walked into a cave. That's all you got to yeah. do. You guaranteed one. Zubat's yep. everywhere, dude. Dude, it's awesome. So, anyways, I'll go back to it. I'll be uh, ranking up here pretty soon. And then, uh, let's see, the last game that I played was ESO. I picked it up to see if uh, they fixed some of my pet peeves, and whoops, nope. I what still... Were your pet peeves? Well, as you're playing solo, it seems like you out-level a given area, yet there isn't another area for you to go to. So I feel like, on the storyline perspective, I'm way ahead of the level that I should be. So, or I'm way behind the level that I should be, based on the story. So the game keeps getting, you know, harder and harder, and you just get to an area where there's nothing to do. Okay. Um, Maury kind of talked to me about this when the game first launched, and he was like, dude, you're treating it too much like an MMO. Like, I'm looking for quest hubs to go from quest hub to quest hub to quest hub. And, like, basically... What he was telling me is you got to look around the nooks and crannies of the entire zone and just clear that zone before moving on to the next. Yeah, and I didn't do that. I just kept going, hey, cool, I can go to the next area. Sweet. Yeah, no, because like how ESO kind of works is there are multiple trigger points for quest givers. So like, I was, I was, there's one quest in Auradon where you have to go into um, this underground cave to... to to uh, help this uh, spriggan. Okay. And you, the quest, the quest can either trigger above the mountain, like on on the mountain, or below it. So it really depends where you are. You can pick up the quest, like they'll trigger in different positions on the map. So yeah, you really need to usually kind of go start from the bottom and, and like work round. Like that's the way you kind of stay on track. Or if you know, from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. On top. Or, like in Reaper's March, if you're playing um, in the Old Mirror Dominion, like you start from the top left-hand corner and then you kind of come down and round and then end up at the bottom. So you really have to kind of snake away around the map. You can't just go from city to city because you'll miss loads of content. Yeah, I guess but, yes, um, but yeah, so... you know, if you, go, if you go from town to town, that's where you're going to basically pick up the main content, like the actual world quests and story quests. But... Yeah, all the stuff that's going to level you is around. Because I mean, yeah. I, I level, I've leveled two characters like up to fifty and passed, and like I was never out. Le- I, you know, I was never out leveling my content. That was the other way around. The we content. Don't, we didn't poke around enough. Well. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I just want to hurry through the story, yeah. not grind on these little side quests here and there. No, but that's the thing about ESO. The ESO quests are amazing. It's the stuff that there isn't to do after it that makes the game kind of bad. Yeah. Okay. Like, if, you want to, if, you, if, you, if you approach it as an Elder Scrolls game, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. If you approach it as an MMO, Not so much. It, it, it falls short. Because... Yeah. Agreed. It's, it's just not... not um, like it's a massively no, single-player game. game. Like, like, they give you... Like we we'll talk about it, so but you know it's it's a big game for me. It was a big game for me right now. Is to say you can play any way you want, and then they give you a time trial end game. That automatically 
starts pigeonholing people into having a certain build to get the right time. You you you, you can't do those runs. You know, they posted it from QuakeCon, the, the fastest time in uh, Ethereal Archive, which is what the easier of the two. 10 minutes, 39 seconds or something. Okay. Yeah. That, how is how is 10 minutes, 39 seconds end game in an MMO? How, it's 10 no minutes sense. and 39 seconds of your life. To complete Whoa, the whole thing. That you'll never get back. That you'll never get back. But, so, uh, yeah. It, isn't it? But that's kind of interesting. Like, this trials thing, it's going to force people into that, um, you know, let me find the most efficient build. Let me find the most uh, efficient gear. And it's going to get you into those kind of little niches. And then, Which is the opposite of what they wanted. Right, exactly. Yeah. Just yep. like Maury said. So I, I totally get where you're coming from with that. And I don't know. I guess we'll see. But speaking of poking around, uh, Mac, what you been up to? What you been playing? Uh, well... First off, I'd just like to open up and say something uh, to everyone out heartfelt. there. Heartfelt. It's very heartfelt. Heart, it's very heartfelt. Um, Maury's going to hate this. But Always. There, there's people out there who want uh, consoles to die, and there's ones that want specific consoles to die, PlayStation. I'm not saying everyone who plays PlayStation wants Xbox to die, not everyone who plays Xbox wants PlayStation to die. But there are those extremist groups. And here's the thing, is when those, if one of them is out of there, then you get kind of a monopoly and then things get stagnant, which is just how things happen. Right. And then Mori's like, I'm a PC master race, so it doesn't affect me. But it does because Mori, if those console gamers don't have their consoles, they're going to come to PC because that's their only outlet. And then you're stuck with them forever. Do you want that? You got to keep those, you want those console gamers on their consoles, don't you? Do you want to be stuck with us forever, Mori? No, I, I'd rather you be on the PC where I can keep an eye on you and point you in the arrow and... I know, but they're going to be. They're, look how many console gamers there are. They're going to be make. They're going to be saying like, "Hey, you should make this change to this game and this change to the game to make it more like how they like." Mm-hmm. They're going to make it more. A lot for more you. PC Ooh. games going to have to have controller support, Mori. Nope. No. 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 It just means more games will won't have control because everything will be designed for PC. So they make it the more optimal way, which is keyboard and mouse. Oh uh, yeah. That well, I don't, know. Ever, I don't know more. Have you ever played a driving game with keyboard and mouse? It sucks. Uh, no, because that's a yeah, it does. Game. That's bad. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought I'd put that out there. Uh, game wise, I've been playing a lot of uh, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, kind of an older game, but uh, On PC. Yes, PC. Okay. I got it during the Steam Summer Sale. It I also available on, it is available on console, you know. I have it on console and 360. I, 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 360 <laughs> and PC actually though, um, but they had it on sale on uh, for the Steam Summer Sale, and it came with all the DLC, which I didn't have any of the DLC on my 360, so I thought I'd pick it up, and it's uh, really fun. I'm actually trying to get reacquainted with it. I have a, a project that I'm working on for it coming up. Uh, it holds up. That's that's all I can say. It's a, it's a pretty old game. I think it's kind of even based on the Oblivion engine, but do you know it? No, I haven't used any mods on it actually. I, I've been planning on to. I want to kind of get some. I've heard some that like make it like nights darker, so you actually have to use like street lights that another mod imports to kind of make it like more practical. Skyrim realistic lighting overhaul. One yeah. of the best mods you can ever get for Skyrim. Yep. But, yeah. So I've been thinking about getting a few mods for that, and then. Um, the project I'm working on is uh, I'm, I'm setting certain boundaries and restrictions on things I can and cannot do, and it's also going to be in the hardcore mode where you actually have to sleep, eat, drink, all that fun stuff. So. Oh yeah, you uh, were telling me about that. Yep. So um, once I get that all um, all the kinks in that worked out, I'll uh, probably start. You, you should see something on that coming in the future. Outside of Fallout, I've been playing uh, recently Strife because I recently got into the uh, beta for it. And uh, that is, it's a, well, for those who don't know, Strife is a MOBA, uh, which is a multiplayer online battle arena. And it's kind of, it's a really, and Supa and Mori can back me up on this. It's a very basic, um, much much simpler, more streamlined than um, League or Dota. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is it based on Heroes of New Earth? No, I don't. No, just the same people? S2? I thought it was the same people. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. 
Oh, wait, it might be. Um, but basically, yeah, I, I totally agree with what Mac was saying. It is definitely a more streamlined take on a MOBA compared to League of Legends, compared to Dota that have a lot more buildings in the bases. This thing, this uh, map, it's the same three lanes, you know, that you usually have. Uh, two turrets per lane, and then after you get through the second tier turret, you have the barracks, which operates, it does have a turret to it, but it's also, you know, where your creeps spawn. And then you have, um, basically, once you get through the three generators on that outside of the um, bases, all you have to do is take out the, I forget what they call core. it. The core. Yeah, and that is, it, it does have a turret to it, but it, again, it's it's nothing like Dota. Dota, there's tons of buildings. There's barracks. There's turrets. In League of Legends, there's the turrets right next to the world, whatever. Nexus. The hell it's Nexus, yeah. Something different in every goddamn game. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's it's a lot more of a streamlined gameplay process. Um, it, it's very interesting. And I think a lot of the mechanics, if a MOBA is something that you've been kind of scared of and you've been on the fence like, oh, I want to try it, but they all sound really too difficult and the communities sound toxic, I'd say go ahead and, and try Strike because it's, it's a lot easier to get a grasp on what's going on on that map. Yeah, it's, yeah, much, most... more, it's much more like MOBA light, I guess. Yeah. Of it's it's, it's, it's fun, though. Like, I do enjoy playing it. And, um, like, there's certain... Um... NPC sort of creatures, I don't know how to exactly describe it, in the jungle that you can actually attack to give you big benefits, um, like uh, Kratos. How yeah, yeah. Get big old yeah, monkey where Kratos. he does... Kratos, okay, so he is a chained-up monkey guarded by Sindara, yeah. who is yeah. a... Uh, she's kind of like a demigod sort of person, right? Anyways, yeah. you need like at least three or four people... Three, later on in the game, I would recommend four to kind of take her on. Uh, once you defeat her, it releases Kratos, uh, Kratos for your team, and you can choose a lane for him to go down, and he will go down that lane attacking all... Um, what, what are the uh, guardians? Uh, brawlers. And brawlers. And brawlers, yeah. He'll beat up the yeah, brawlers, brawlers, and he'll beat up the turrets. And one of the great things about him is when he attacks a turret, it actually disables a turret for a certain amount of period, so everyone can just... Swarm in and attack that turret, take it down real quick. Uh, the bad part about his attacks is that they're so strong they actually hurt him. So each time he does an attack, it takes a little bit of his health away, and then obviously him getting attacked by the brawlers and the other heroes will kill him as well. So you, everyone needs to rush the lane he goes in in order to maximize his damage output on that lane. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a great way of summing it up. You definitely uh, love to back up the monkey. Yeah, yeah, ma yeah, really make sure that you can kill Sindara in the attempt that you make. <laughs> yeah, we actually had a um, a position where we were beaten on Sindara, and then we um, we we weren't defeated by Sindara. We were another time. That's another story. But um, we weren't <laughs> defeated by her. But we had weakened her down, and then their team came in and and killed us. And then finished off what we had done on Sindara, and they actually yeah, because basically Matt had, Matt, Matt had fed the entire team, and they just came in. And <laughs> I fed one person. It wasn't even a feeding. I was I was a support. Character, it was a feeding, and I was getting was attacked by a it DPS. Was a I it was, was a whole, it was like a, a massive Matt them. buffet. It was it was like yeah. McDonald's. It Listen, was Matt it was buffet. Mac, the proof will be on YouTube with a death yeah. counter blame, solely for you. I, I blame Will not being there to help support me. Where I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Did, did, you know, did you, the support did you role isn't. It? I thought so. I actually think I played it. I'll have to go and double check. All right, definitely. Yeah, support role. Uh, don't solo a support role, apparently. So, you know. Yeah, no, you shouldn't be soloing. Yeah. FML, right? Feed. Don't, feed. don't feed. Don't feed. Don't feed the beast. No. So, um, yeah, I actually have. Uh, I was actually playing Claudessa that round, and uh, she's pretty fun, but. Uh, I think a character that I really like is uh, Tr uh, Trixie. She's kind of like a she's a witch, but kind of like set old west style. You know, <laughs> she's just like a little kid, whatever. But she has some some good um, crowd control sort of attacks. I, I like playing as her, and I wasn't playing as her when we lost, so that's probably why I'm gonna blame it on that. You know. Okay, fair enough. But as an inexperienced uh, MOBA player, this is definitely the most fun I've had playing a MOBA. So. Uh, if you have any doubts about it, definitely jump in. You'll you, you'll most likely enjoy it. All right. Uh, yeah, what else you got? I mean, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll find the actual 
website, so I can chat it out. Uh, okay, awesome. Uh, what else is going on there, Mac? Well, other than that, like a lot of the games I've played, I have a lot of early access games, so I feel like in a year or two I should have a decent library of games on Steam. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, yeah. Uh, one of them is uh, Space Engineers, and uh, I've known you played this with me, uh, Super. Mm -hmm. It's uh, pretty much what it is, is uh, kind of like a little open world sort of. You're in space on like an asteroid belt, and depending on the size of the world you have, you're between like four and like 16 asteroids you can mine. And within the asteroids, there are minerals you need to build ships, and then you can fly those ships around. There's a PvP element, and uh, kind of like an infrastructure. So pretty much what you can do is you can fly to an asteroid, uh, set up a base there, mine there to build like your refinery, your, your generators, your gravity generators, and things like that to give power. And then from there, you can expedite building ships, and then you can blow up everyone around you. It's a little buggy. Obviously, being an alpha game, but I, I found space it uh, pretty fun. Today. Space buggy, yeah, yes. space buggy, definitely. Um, <laughs> God damn it, bad man. word play, bad word. Uh, bad word play. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it, it's a it's a pretty fun. There's a there's there's a nice crafting element. Obviously, I think it needs to be expanded upon, and there definitely needs to be some things added to it. But um, they've had pretty regular updates since I've been playing it, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this game will come along. Yeah, one of the most fun things I had in, in Space Engineers is, like, as you're playing and you're, you're, and you're at your base and you're mining and you're building, occasionally, like, NPC ships will come into your area, and you mm -hmm. can go and, and try and take them. And I was going to try and take it, like, for the first time, and Max's like, all right, dude, once you get inside the ship, try not to touch the walls, because what happens is once you're inside the ship, like, the ship is still moving forward, but you, your character, if you stand still, you are not, so you will, like get phased out of the ship basically and cut through the wall and die so it, it was really a fun task to try and like move around on that ship while it has forward momentum but your character doesn't uh and and try and get to the cockpit to take it over so i could fly it back and then strip everything out of it and use it to build our amazingness so you yeah don't definitely consider that a bug uh, no, it, well, is, no, it is probably a polished thing that they haven't gotten to yet because it is in early access but i had a freaking blast doing it so whatever they, they could leave it in i'd be fine yeah, there are some things, like, obviously, if you have your inertia dampeners on, which uh, stops your momentum in either direction, and you're inside of a ship that doesn't have their inertia dampeners on, they're going to be traveling at, let's say, like, 105 meters per second in a direction, and then if you turn yours on, you're going to hit zero, and you're going to slam into that wall, moving at 105 meters per second, and obviously killing yourself. Yeah. So you have to be careful not to get, like, crushed by ships. Nice. Uh, so yeah, zero G, very fun. Uh, it gets a little disorienting sometimes. Sometimes you're like, "Oh, I'm upside, I'm right side up," and then you like hit the gravity area and you fall strictly on your face. So, awesome. Yep. Uh, other than that, uh, I've been playing a game called The Forest. I don't know if you have heard about this. I have. Forest. It's like a survival game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, what happens is uh, you, you're pretty much in an airplane, and you're with your kid, and then it starts crashing. The crashing animation is very bad. <laughs> But you crash land, and then like you're conscious for a few seconds, and some tribal dude steals your kid, and then you wake up later, and uh, you forget about your kid and start building a house. <laughs> and yep. uh, it's really creepy, because I was building a house, and then I turned around, and there's like four tribal people behind me just watching me. And so I back into my house, and then I, and they start attacking me and rushing me, and start hitting them with a uh, fire axe. It's really creepy, especially in the nighttime uh, sections, because if, especially if you're trying to like, gather resources, they can hide really well and they sneak up on you. And I've, oh, yeah. uh, I've uh, probably shouted a few times out of surprise. <laughs> they climb into the trees and they can drop down on you. Yeah, yeah, I realized that when I was in building a shelter. I had to chop down all the trees nakedness. around my shelter. Yeah, they're naked. Uh, <laughs> men, women, all of them, they're just blue. And then right whatever those there. things are that are inside the, the, the cave. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what that is. Zubats. Uh, no, not Zubats. <laughs> Yeah, definitely Zubats. Tons of Zubats. You have to uh, you have to get three rocks and a stick and craft a Pokeball and you gotta catch them. It's crazy. How is the stick used in the Pokeball? Uh, you well, it okay. yeah, it's a okay. secret. Fair enough. Don't, the stick's gonna... the magic. Yeah, uh, right. there's there's also in this game a crafting element. I've noticed that a lot in a lot of games. There's a lot of crafting elements. I guess you know that's just a thing. Makes but, sense. Yeah, it makes sense, especially in a survival game, but. 
it looks like there's a few recipes blocked off, and then I definitely hope they come out with more recipes. Maybe some freeform building, because right now, like, you can build a cabin, but you can also build, like, walls. You can make your own sort of shape, but there's no, like, locking on there. Like, I wish there was some type of, like, magnets or, like, like, hey, snap this two. was... Yeah, snap two. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm looking for. I want to snap two, just because my, my shelter right now is, like, a piece of dung. It's bad. <laughs> okay. I don't recommend then, living in a piece of dung. No. Yeah, don't do that. It's, uh, it's uh, HOA fees are Shit, crazy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, yes. Uh, okay. And then uh, another game I, that's early access alpha, but one of the more popular ones is uh, Day Z. Z. And, uh, Day Z. Whatever. Day Z. It's America. Americans saying it. Day Z is a flower. Everyone else saying it's Day Z. Day Z is a flower. Day Z. Diaries. Anyways, um, I, I played a bit with Supa. Yeah. And, uh, Cirque. And Cirque, yeah. And that was... It's been a while since I've been in the game, and there's a lot that's changed. It's a, Well, one of the main things is it's less laggy. Um, but the zombies are also a little bit scarier because they can run on... They're super fast now. I cannot yeah, run up. I can't... Yeah. They beat the shit out of me unless I kill them. Like and I then was... some of them can run on all fours. That's creepy as hell. Yep. <laughs> Reminds me of the hunter from uh, Left 4 Dead. It's scary. I don't like it. Change it. I don't want oh, it. Oh, it's scary. They're a lot fast. Like, I was trying to meet up with Cirque, and I was telling him, he's like, oh, zombie. I'm like, oh, just keep running. Break line of sight, and you'll get away. And he's like, no, yeah. this one's catching up on me. It's because I hadn't seen one of those ones that jumps down on all of a sudden on all fours and, like, chases you down. It's like Jesus Christ! They they have made a lot of changes to DayZ, uh, so I'm, I remember I'm going to be getting back into it. Yeah, zombies used to be like, oh, it's zombie, let's run yeah. away, and it's no big deal. Now, it's like they can take more hits and they're faster. They're a lot more of a threat than they used to be. Yeah, that's good to see, though. Yeah, definitely, and uh, they've also had a lot of new weapons too. So I'm I'm really excited for that. I remember before when I played, there was just the uh, the M4, the Mosin, the. Uh, Nine millimeter and then the 357, and obviously the assortment of melee weapons. But now there's like they got SKS, they've got um, AK, uh, AK shotguns, they've got uh, crossbows, lots of new weapons. And uh, there's also a different aspect that uh, goes against ghosting, where like you can't just log out and then log back in on another server. There's actually a wait timer, so people can't just sneak up on you and. That was a big problem before, so I'm glad they've uh, fixed that. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, we have videos to prove that was a problem. Yep, definitely. Yep. And uh, one of the only things that uh, they didn't seem to change is that uh, everything in the world seems to affect your character, and your character never stops bitching. <laughs> I'm wet. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm thirsty. Oh, I shouldn't have drank that bleach. Whatever, dude. Shut your face. So, you know, that's pretty much been uh, my experience in Daisy is uh, that. So I'm definitely I'm definitely excited for um, the future, and I'm I'm happy where the, where it is right now. So I'm just waiting for vehicles. Give me a, a bicycle or yeah. something. They need to bring the pedal bike in. Goddamn it! Because it takes so long to catch up with people. It's so hard to group up in that game. But other oh, than I would that, totally yeah. love like a zombie killing machine, which is just like a giant van that's all pimped out with welded gear you know like mr t's been at it yeah yeah um, machine guns attached to it that'd be awesome the question yeah, is how yeah. close they go with the mod and then like there's there's other modders that like improve on the mod so there's like an overpoc uh daisy mod that you can actually do that you can pick up road friggin barricades and mount them on your car and pick up anti-aircraft guns and put that on the car and freaking go oh, grab them off and kill everything so i mean maybe they'll do that i i don't know but I would think anti-aircraft cool. guns would be rather <laughs> poor for. No, uh, no, no. There's there's helicopters and stuff in in the days. No, no, but like what? like I've never, I've never ever seen a zombie flying a, a helicopter. But well, yeah, but really, I mean, in the game, yes, they especially now zombies are a problem, but the bigger problem is the other players. That's what I mean, though. Like anti-aircraft guns, like it's going to be hard to come by that ammo. You think? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, point. you know, yeah. you, you get attacked by, like, a wave of zombies, and then you run out of ammo, and then you're like, <laughs> well, do just swing it around, hopefully, decapitate and stuff. Yeah. Just uh, drive yeah. into well, just, just ram, yeah. Ram them. Ram them and see sort of them and stuff. All right. That could be a thing. Yeah, it could yeah. be. But Seesaw. Seesaw weapons. We're going to go ahead and seesaw our way over to me. 
because uh, we're going to save the best for last, which is obviously uh, more cues. Uh, we can By the way, through. it's um, strife.com if you want to sign up for the, for the uh, beta. And I'll go ahead and add that, that. as an annotation in the video that'll show up somewhere. I could Sweet. Be, if I was smart and pre-planned this, I could be like, it's going to be right there, but I'm not. So who knows? Where's it going to be? I'll point to it on the screen. It... It's there. 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 Um, not there. Not there. It's yeah. everywhere. No. Uh, so, I Copy that way. have been playing uh, some Wildstar, thanks to a friend pass from MoreQ. So, uh, I appreciate that. You're welcome. I've been having a lot of fun with the, the combat. It's really fast, very fluid, very engaging. Uh, the telegraphing of the moves, both for you, so you can kind of move yourself to get the optimum damage on multiple enemies is pretty cool. And then the, the enemy telegraphing where their move is going to be makes it a lot of... It, it kind of feels a little bit like a fighting game. Like, I'm throwing rocks, he's throwing scissors, and we're trying to, you know, defeat each other. Um, definitely an MMO, though. Uh, there's some story beats, a lot of text that I'm not bothered to read. Um, some quests I'm interested in, some I'm not. So it, it is definitely an MMO, but if that's what you're looking for, I would I'd definitely say pick up Wildstar because it is unadvashedly an MMO. Um, as Mac mentioned, I, I've been playing Strife with uh, these guys. I'm not so sold on the art style. I don't know why. It, it's the big fonts and stuff. It, it's too childish to me, I guess. Um, I'm not really it looks very. It. It, looks, it feels unpolished, yeah. So yeah. hopefully that will change, honestly. Hmm. It kind of bugs me as well. It's a little bit basic. No, it, yeah, exactly. It's a little too basic, and it kind of bugs me. So hopefully they fix that uh, when they come out of the beta. But if it is something, if you are new to MOBAs, like I said before, it is definitely something you should pick up and try out, especially because, like, people aren't arguing over what lane you're in because there's gold share. So as long as a hero in that lane, or I think it's, like, in a 20-meter radius, as long as a hero in a 20-meter radius around you gets last hit, you're going to get gold for it. Uh, Ex also... Explain the uh, last hit. So People last hit, as you have uh, four minions on opposing teams coming down, you have the players, which are the heroes, uh, trying to make sure that they are the last person to kill the minion, because as long as they get the last hit on it, they get gold as well as experience. So in this game, in like League and Dota, you'll have certain people and there's certain team setups and mechanics, so certain lanes will be... Uh, solo certain lanes will have a team um, and they're all striving for last hit but in this game you don't get that clash where people are like hey man i'm trying to go top by myself go away or i'm going mid go away because really who gives a damn the goal is going to be shared anyway so it's not like they're going to be stealing your gold uh yeah, so cool. yeah that the out of combat health regen and it's it's just a lot easier mm uh, moba to to learn on but i think because um back during the aes days i had done I'll, I'll, not a great deal with League, but I was getting into it and I, I was understanding what was going on. It leaves me wanting a little bit more. Whereas for me, where I'm, I'm not as um, into it yet as you are, and I don't understand the more finer intricacies, it's a great stepping point for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, other than... Uh, oh, go ahead. Does Does everybody level up at the same time if you're sharing gold and experience, or is it still... Is the last hit critical? I don't know if you share experience as long as, uh, well, as long as you hit it and I think it dies, you do get experience. Um, but last hit is not, it's still critical for you to, because you want your team to be building items. So like if you and another hero are in the lane, you still want to make sure you guys are getting last hit. But it's not that contentious thing that it is in League and Dota as, as to which lane you're going down. Yeah, it definitely helps if you're playing support cast as well, because then, you know, you've got your, a your AC carry. Um, ADC carry getting the, the gold but then you're also getting gold by keeping them supported so it, it can help it help with a, a support player rather than a, a support player solo in and feeding the enemy <coughs> Mac <coughs> well I'm just going to say this right now is uh, support characters even though I was apparently feeding a character last round uh, hey. no one was helping me as a support character I was to be supporting somebody where were you guys at anyways um, they were supporting I was doing, I was yeah. doing fine once we moved once I switched lanes. But uh, support characters seem to earn more gold. I feel because like I was generating probably the most gold um, in a few of those matches, and I was barely getting any kills. 
All right, and uh, the last thing I've been playing this week, guys, obviously it, it's been Destiny. Um, the beta came out. I got in. What's Destiny? Destiny it is a first-person shooter meets it, basically Destiny is Borderlands meets Halo, which sounds fun as hell to me because you got the loot and the gear grind of Borderlands, but then you add in the fluid, fast-paced combat of Halo, and like honestly, guys, the first-person shooter mechanics feel so good in this game to me. Um, but then on top of it, like. I'm already, I've already maxed out. The lo- I'm at the highest level you can get in the beta. Uh, apparently it's level 8. I've done the strike, uh, which is like a big group event uh, for the story kind of part. But a lot of my time is going to be spent uh, during this beta in the Crucible, which is the PvP. So it's like Halo matchmaking, and it feels so good. The combat is so nice. The weapons are great. The uh, more would be noisy as hell. Uh, what you got there? <laughs> animal, are those animal crackers? They're Haribos. Oh, snap. Gummy bears. I want some. Uh, but yeah, no, Destiny is great. I've been having a lot of fun with it, and I am kind of depressed that Mac and, unfortunately, uh, Sovereign have it on the wrong console. So we'll go oh. play together. Yeah, yeah, at least right now, could play my, together. Skype, my Skype is showing Xbox One at the bottom left right now, so... Skype wants me to play it on Xbox One. <laughs> yeah, we'll play it. We, me and Sovereign play it together. We know a few other people that have it on uh, Xbox One as well. I mean, John, you can play with uh, 47. He has it on PS4. Oh, great. Um, yeah. So, more Q. The best for last, good sir. What you what you been playing this week? Give it to us. I've not been playing anything, so I'm a filthy casual. Yep, it, that's, that's true. A wrap. We're done. All he's been doing is playing himself. Episode 10, over. Over. (laughs) So, right then, me. I, before this show, dinged 50 in Wildstar. Woo! uh, Woo! So, since April, which is when ESO started, and now it's, we're in July, I've uh, max leveled in two, two MMOs. What a boss. Too much time on your hands. Um, so yeah, I dinged 50 today, this morning. I dinged fi- uh, 30 in my path in Wild Soul, which is basically a... It's almost like a craft, but it's not. It's like an extra gameplay to your scientist. So basically I scan stuff. Um, and it also opens up like... Uh, ports as well, so I can like port um, party members to me and things like that, or I can get to the the um, like the capital city, which is Ilium, which I'm on the Dominion. I'm a uh, a chewer, which is basically like a space rat, and I'm a spell <laughs> slinger, which is basically like a cowboy. So I'm a mm-hmm. tiny little um, cowboy space rat. Uh, as I said when I was wide, uh, live streaming it, I'm kind of like. Fireball Goes West. Yeah. You remember oh. that show? Yeah. Fireball Goes West? Movie? No. Fireball Goes... What? You guys movie, don't yeah. know about Fireball Goes West? How about oh, American Fireball Tale, on American Tale? Yeah. Oh. Awesome. You're both off the show. Um, All right. Yes, and what I was going to go into, you know, John said it's fast-paced and things. What I was going to go into now is is what I'm actually going to be doing in Wildstar, and that's um, preparing for raiding. No, I've had, I've had to make a list because it's quite long. Yeah. It's a 12-step plan. This is more to, a 12-step plan to raiding. Yes, to yeah. raiding in Wildstar. So first, get level 50. Okay, we've done that. Then, I have to unlock 150 Elder Gems. What are Elder Gems? If I may ask? Elder Gems are kind of end-game currency. Okay. Okay. So you can spend it on things like gear and such, I believe. You can only obtain 140 Elder Gems a week, so it's going to be at least two weeks before I can even start raiding. Then I also have two, basically, sorry, 150 Gems by me in the Tomb Monkey, which is part of the path. Then I have to get 32,000 reputation with my chosen faction, which is the Dominion, who are basically... The Empire, which is great. And then I've got uh, a few 
events to take part in, such as um, you know solving puzzles, killing mobs, and um, stealthily avoiding stuff, which is pretty good. Then I've also got to kill ten of the world bosses. So like you're looking at um, wow, you know upwards of um, five and six million health, which you're going to take you know twenty people to kill or whatsoever. You've got to kill 10, uh, 10 of them. They can all be the same 10, I believe, if you wanted to. Then you also have a thing in Wildstar called Adventures, and you have to get a silver medal or above. Uh, and I think there's about six adventures in it right now. Okay. So you have to get uh, like a gold or silver medal in it, which basically means, you know, amount of deaths or, a lot, you know, failing objectives. So that's pretty difficult. And then you've also got silver or above in veteran dungeons, which dungeons in Wildstar are insane. John was talking I mean, about the um, telegraph system and the the bosses in Wildstar have ridiculous, you know, like Star of David shapes and weird patterns. And it's just, it's insane and it's fun as hell. Like, it's just, it's just amazing. Uh, and then it's off with um, you have to kill a special boss in one of the veteran dungeons, which I imagine is not very easy. So that's going to be fun. And then there's a, you know, there's a, a few more events thrown in there to take part in. And there's also killing a another element, which is just a weird boss somewhere in the world that I have to go and find. So that's going to be fun. So that's going to be probably me for the next probably two to three weeks, if not more, because I say you can get 140 Elder Gems a week, uh, but then you've got to unlock all those dungeons and things like that. So there's Mark, plenty of progression to come. Hello. You you are not a casual gamer, and you're you are very hardcore. You take you take Wildstar very seriously. So. Why don't, you, why don't you nail down a time? I'm sure you have a prediction on how long this 12-step process is going to take you. If you were to say, someone had a gun to your head, when are you going to be done with this? What would you tell them? Uh, maybe two months? Two months. Shiggity. If you guys aren't rating in two months, you gotta you got to let us know so we can give more shit. I know you're in chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah two, I'd, I'd say two months is a good estimate. Um, because, I mean, ESO, I... I got to vet twelve, and then I was basically in the trial that week. So, and, and Shiggity actually is in the chat, and he's confirming about a month, if not more, before you guys can even think about raiding. Yeah, yeah, and that's so that's not even progressing in the raid. That's just getting up to being able to even unlock going into the raid. So I've got no prediction on when the raid will be done. I've not even found a guild yet. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, that's, that sounds like that's, quite a grind. This guy yeah, has that the grind is exciting. Grind to that's exciting. What was that, Mac? Well, like a lot of these games, like uh, I've heard, you know, it seems like they've been made a lot easier from what I've heard. Like not quite MMO y. And this actually feels like it has the MMO, like you have to work to get to what you want. There is no question, so, yeah. there should be no question in anyone's mind if Wildstar is an MMO. No, it's it's balls to the wall. Yeah, it's it's they've taken the best things from WoW. They've taken the balls. best things from all all our MMOs. The the raids are twenty man and forty man. The twenty men raids are to gear to for the forty man, which you know is going to be a massive clusterfuck of just telegraphs and puzzles, and it's just going to be rocking my balls off insane. So, is loot instance or no? No, I don't think it is in raids. No. So it's all like, hey, I need this. You have, so there's a lot of rolling. Yeah, it, you know, it's uh, roll, need, or greed. That that's how that's at least that's my experience with um, the leveling process. I was doing a little bit of leveling with uh, with Shiggy getting up to fifty and stuff, and you know, you got need or greed. If um, you don't actually need the item. You just want it for greed. You, you hit greed, and if you want, if you actually need it, then you hit need. And a lot of people just roll need. You know, that's 
it's one of the uh, the cards in Hearthstone, which I'm going to talk about as well. Is uh, you know the loot hoarder, and you know you drop him out. It's like man, if I roll need, that's basically yeah. what yeah. it's from. Yeah. That's all, so, the whole problem I have with MMOs. Is everyone always rolls need everyone because like, everyone wants everyone wants the, the sick loot that they can either make money yeah. on or. Um, yeah. that, that's dust. one of the other the good things about Wildstar. Yes, it's subscription based, but there are also things in the game called cred, which cost more than a subscription but you can sell it on the market to get in-game gold okay so if you do like rex? Basically, yeah basically like rex in rift i believe yep so rift yeah so basically yeah. other people can pay for your subscription you just need to make money on on selling dies or crafting gear and stuff like that so uh if you're willing to put the time in, you, you can play Wildstar for free. Um, you just need to buy the, the box game. And honestly, like because of that, I can see it maybe staying subscription-based a lot longer than, than ESO. Yeah, I, I uh, do like that cred option. system. That if, <laughs> if you're putting the time into the game, if you're always logging in and you're putting the work in, they're going to cut you a break on the subscription. I mean, if, they're not going like to afford Eve. it. Yeah, yeah kind of like Eve. Eve. Yes, yes, just like Eve. Kind of like what I was saying, you know, we've got to get, um, you know, silver or gold in these dungeons and things like that. You're going to be getting loot from that if you don't, you know, on your attempts. So you can probably rack up gold and platinum pretty quick. So, you you know, you could buy those creds off the uh, auction house and stuff um, probably quite easily and, you know, keep your game time there. So it, it's definitely got longevity. And like I say, you know, you, you you know, like I said, two months maybe before I'm raiding. That's gonna be that's gonna keep people in game. That's gonna keep MMO game players playing. Right. I uh, know Draenor is coming out. Um, you know, Warlords of Draenor for WoW. So maybe there may be a dip in it, but I think you know Wildstar will have its own uh, core players. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about Wildstar, and uh, yeah, I've been playing a ton. Like I say, seven days. Uh, Seven hours it took me to get to fifty. Awesome. Of that, that's actual play time, not um, like how long I've been playing the game. Right. Then uh, the next game I've been playing is uh, Hearthstone. I've been playing that a ton. And Never heard uh, of it. Uh, just kick him. Boat kick. <laughs> just download it. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> I was struggling at rank twelve. Like I was going between ten and twelve with. Uh, various decks and then a, f a few days ago maybe a week uh or so maybe no this week uh gara over at tempo storm they're uh they're a hearthstone team mm -hmm. posted a video on his youtube channel about this rush um rush warlock deck and i'm going to read you the deck if uh we have time yeah sure go ahead no okay so um say so this is by uh, gara over at tempo storm is a video on his on their youtube and it's um, two soul fires, two mortal coils, two um, power overwhelmings, two abusive sergeants, two argent squires, one flame imp, two leper gnomes, two void walkers, one worgen infiltrator, one Omar, one Armani berserker, two bluegill warriors, two direwolf alphas, two iron beak owls, two knife jugglers, two arcane goals, golems, two wolf riders, two hellfires, and Leroy. Jenkins. Uh, and then I got to like rank nine. I'm like one win away from uh, from getting rank eight. I'm really trying to push the legend, but I think I'll probably end up maybe being rank five. Uh, I'm going to play a ton when Raxmus comes out. Hopefully, I'm going to be uh, streaming me completing the the first wing the day it comes out. And where will and, you be uh, streaming that? Uh, over here at. Uh, no SHT gaming on Twitch. That's definitely what you want to uh, come and follow us at uh, you know twitch.tv forward slash no SHT gaming. No shit, no agendas, just games. Oh, no agendas. no agendas. No agendas. No agendas. So yeah, uh, yeah, I'm up to rank uh, nine, say with with that deck, and it's basically all about hitting face. You know, you've got the two power overwhelmings. You got the the charge creatures like the Wolf Riders, the Bluegill Warriors, and uh, Arcane Girlins, and obviously the Big Daddy Leroy Jenkins, which is the um, 
just to finish it, you know, you whack uh, power overwhelming on Leroy Jenkins, you've got uh, a 10 damage minion for five mana. Wow. So that's uh, that's pretty sick. Yes, you get destroyed by Taunt, which is why you've got the two uh, Iron Beak Owls. Yeah. And uh, silence. you've got the silence, yeah. And then, of course, you've got um, the Soul Fires or Hell Fires, which can be used to clear board and also deal damage to your opponent's face. So I'm having a lot of fun with that deck. It, it's pretty aggro. I, I'm kind of a, a big aggro fan. Yeah, uh, that sounds you know, like a ton of low-cost minions, so there could be some yeah, yeah, damaging all... hands. Yeah, basically, uh, you've got Leroy Jenkins and uh, Arcane Golem, which are the ho- uh, most expensive. I think they're around. They're both four mana each. So yeah, that's uh, you can pretty much play something every turn, yeah. which is really so good. Is this kind of like a rush deck then? Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. You you just smash it into people's faces. You've and got what the round are you winning? I had, a, what? I had a Murloc deck that you destroyed me with. Uh, that I, I yeah used yeah Murloc. Yeah. You like defeated me like nothing. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm really a fan of the aggro decks. Um, and, you know, I've tried Miracle Rogue. I'm not overly a fan with that. I even tried Miracle Rogue with um, with Malagos, you know, with the five extra spell power. So things like Sinister Strike, I do it in eight damage. Because I lost to one who did, like, 30 damage in one turn because he got Malagos out. Shit. Com- you know, comboing <laughs> eviscerates, you know, for, like, Days. what is it, for nine damage eviscerates with eight damage Sinister Strikes. It, it just wrecks you. Yeah. So Mori is uh, lots of fun. You might agree with me on this, Super. Mori is totally a red deck kind of guy when it comes to magic. Yeah, yeah, he would definitely. He See, would definitely a red, red burn deck. deck. Yeah, yeah, definitely a red burn. Uh, yeah, no, that so you guys are playing cool. Magic 2015. Uh, yeah, it looks horrible. Did, did it come out yet? Yes. I, I, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, I watched. I watched, a, I watched a, a video Forced did on it, and he is not overly sold on it. He thinks. I think he thinks 14 is better still. Which yeah, I do I have. have. 24, I have uh, 2014 on Steam, and I uh, definitely wanted to get 2015. It was saying that um, it, it's maybe ten dollars to buy, but then there are premium card packs which are like one ninety nine yeah. each. Yeah, there, up, there, are, there always are. Yeah, but it ends up making the cost of the game like thirty eight dollars for just. A, I'm not wow. sure that's enough. I guess if we get all the packs, usually what I do is I play the I play the standard game, and then I kind of find like a deck I like, and then I buy. Like the expansion or our additional cards for that kind of deck, something like that. Well, that's so. a smart way of doing it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you know, apparently the the creator card game in that is actually quite good. You can have up to you know you can have all five um, five colored decks if you want in Magic. Like I said, yeah. I just watched a video where what Force put out. I'm going to say though for gaming. Yeah, for Magic on Steam, like it's not as customizable as. Obviously, the the real card game is, but if you want to learn the rules and kind of basic uh, functions of the cards, it's definitely a good uh, starting point. So, yeah, if you want to get to Magic, pick it up. I, I prefer Hearthstone over Magic. I like I like the gameplay. Like I don't like the fact that you know you've got blockers and things like that. I like having the choice of whether I clear a board or um, you know attack uh, an opponent directly. Mm-hmm. I, I I kind of enjoy, I enjoy that much more. I think. So I played Magic a little bit while I was waiting for Hearthstone beta key, and uh, yeah, literally a day I think it was. Yeah, then I won it, and then Twitter. the next day he got the Hearthstone key. Yeah, maybe <laughs> the, so. uh, the the Steam game actually got me into the card game, so that's why I say if anyone's interested, go check it out. Yeah, I mean definitely if you're interested in card games, I'm sure you've already played Magic, um, but. Oh, I, I would definitely say go and, and give Hearthstone a download. Like I say, you pretty much can play it free to play if you want um, to put time in it, or even if you don't, if you just want you know to have a little bit of fun and relax, and you can play it on your iPad. You can yep. play it on your iPad. Too, like, iPad, not on your iPad. Other... No, not on your mobile phone, which I thought maybe you could at the time, but no. Yeah. But um, I want to... yeah, and then and then a little bit, you know, I jumped into Strife with you guys. Um, somebody. Who I was playing Wildstar with just said, look, if you want to play MOBA, really try maybe look at Strife. Because I've played a little bit of LOL. I've not played Dota. Uh, and yeah, you know, we, we have got a video that's coming out um, where Mac basically feeds. Yep, Mar- Marana might have been the hero that he was feeding. Uh, it's Squid Bitch. That's what her name is. Her name is Squid Bitch. Squid Bitch, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was basically like Nightcrawler with a, with a, with a trident. Yeah. And she was wrecking. 
She's she was... so fast. I try to run away and she just <laughs> teleports to me. It's bullshit. Well, OP. she's got one attack. She's got one attack because I played her in the bot match and she's yeah. got one attack that once she hits it, it increases her speed by like 25% for Jesus, like five seconds. Ridiculous. Like, wow. yeah. like, like she's so. a definitely she's a she, she'll chase you down to your grave. It's ridiculous. I know we were having an issue with that purple butterfly down bottom as well. I just kept dropping bombs on us. Fuck. But slow does. Okay, us. you guys need to nerf the butterfly there. No, nerf yeah. squid bitch. <laughs> yeah, squid bitch. I didn't have a problem with nerfed. butterfly. It's, I I feel though that that kind of shows the game though. It's like, hey, my character and my playstyle. Um, Definitely uh, shitty against Squid Bitch, but I guess you guys are having a trouble with uh, Butterfly Lady. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you, with a MOBA, you got to kind of get into the meta and you got to learn, you know, what items you should be building for in which situation. So, you know, there's a lot of there's a there's a big learning curve to MOBAs, but it, this one still I still think would be the easier of some of the yeah. bigger names. I mean, a lot of the times the meta is knowing the characters. League of Legends mm, has got yeah, maybe no, two hundred characters, where this has got. 20 maybe maybe 30 yeah. so it's much less of a game and which also means that the, the characters can be a little bit more overpowered because there's less of them yeah, so yeah. they're all going to be slightly overpowered in, in their own ways if, if built right so and i mean yeah. the character i was playing was a character that i had just started like i was like i want to try this person out um i'm more familiar with trixie than i definitely am with uh, claudessa so okay anything else there maury uh, no, it's pretty much just, you know, really excited about Nar 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 Naraxmus and uh, really excited about the MMO grind of Wildstar, which is going to be a tremendous amount of fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun with Shigeru, I think. He's my brother from another mother. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm super excited for not being casual and, and being a hardcore raider at some stage, hopefully. All right, I, I'm I'm excited to hear about it because I can never live like that. Live yeah. vicariously through me. Not at all. Yeah, I'll you're live not even bought. You. you need to buy Wildstar though, because I know I heard your your chick was enjoying no. it a bit. Uh, so, oh. welcome to sports, guys. So this is a section of the show that we're very <coughs> proud of, and I'm totally going to segue away from Ori and not even. Not just sports, yeah. bro. Esports. 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 Yes. Esports. So they're electronic. There are many gaming podcasts out there. I don't argue that. But we're going to try and take a different thing, and we're going to try. We're trying to cover everything. So we think that esports have not been getting their due in the gaming general gaming podcast uh, area of entertainment. So we're going to try and actually bring that to you guys. And first, we're going to discuss um, the Dota Two International. Have any of you guys been checking that out? I only got a couple of seconds to check it out, so uh, unfortunately, I didn't have time. Are missing out. What? On what what's a Dota? Fun. Dota is Defense of the Ancients uh, 2. Oops. It is a Oops. MOBA uh, by Valve, free to play on Steam. You guys should definitely check it out. And they're currently hosting the International, uh, which is a championship, with a ten over $10 million pot, uh, prize pot. So Whoa. I, wow, I mean, that's a lot of weed. First oh, yeah. <laughs> I think first place Whoa. is walking away with 5 mil. Jeez. 5 million ounces of weed. Uh, Amazing! No, this is the That's monies. That's a great weekend. The monies. Uh, ounce. Oh, five million <laughs> ounces is a lot. Let's let's bring it down the grand and start from there. Stop the grand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going a little little too expensive for my blood. Uh, Smoke but pot. Yeah. But um, no, definitely. I've been watching it. They have a newcomer stream on Twitch that is actually a lot of help for people that are not familiar with MOBAs. They the commentators on the newcomer stream do a really great job of telling you what's going on and explaining what is happening in the game so that you kind of can get into it. Um, and actually coming out of the news last week, Dota 2, the international will be on ESPN. So tonight Whoop. on ESPN 2 uh, at 8.30 PST, which is 11.30 my time, I believe, uh, you will be able to watch a show that's going to preview the final match, which will take place on Monday. Uh, so make sure you guys tune into ESPN 2 at 8.30 tonight to check out that. Uh, and then ESPN 3 on Monday to watch the finals. Um, things are heating up, and this it's definitely entertaining and exciting to watch. What real sports on in America that would, that would push esports to 2 and 3? Um, female lumberjacking. 
Um, that sounds like hockey. a Scottish game. I don't know. Hockey. Ice hockey. Or it's not hockey, hockey season. Quick question, uh, Supa. I saw uh, a, a tweet last night. I think Half-Life 3. Dota oh, no. 2. That was just a like. So I'm so confused. <laughs> Val, you know, Valve teased that, you know, hey, we've got this deal where we're, we're working with ESPN. And, hey, the International is going to be on ESPN 3. I swear Half-Life God, 3 confirms. If they use this to confirm <laughs> Half-Life 3, I'm stabbing somebody. If they're like, no. oh, we finally made it to ESPN. And actually, something I did want to kind of ask you guys about is um, the uh, esports, some of the people I follow from the fighting game community and from uh, Dota fans, they're all saying, you know, people are saying that the ESPN thing helps to legitimize esports. I don't think you need ESPN to help you legitimize esports. $10 million no. prize pot it's legitimizes true. esports. Um, yeah. But I don't yeah. think you should resent ESPN and Valve for making this deal because I really think that if nothing else, all this is going to do is expose people that wouldn't normally turn in to see this what is going on. It's just more exposure yeah. and the potential to bring in more fans. Definitely, because not everyone that watches ESPN is going to be you know loading up Twitch. I mean, I know a lot of people that are gamers that don't load up Twitch. I mean, so it's definitely going to – and some people are going to be interested. Some people – a lot of people don't understand. It. Some people view it as just a video game, but it's like it's like a, it's a numbers game. It's it's a tactics game, and, uh, and you actually have to think about it. So there's a lot of strategy involved, and a lot of people will be drawn to that. And a lot of those people are watch es like will be watching ESPN, and I think they'll they'll definitely enjoy it once they see it. Something I liked because we're actually about to move on to that's a great point, Mac. Is uh, Evo this year? Evo 2014 happened last weekend. Um, it was fucking nuts. It was that nuts. That was awesome. And they were doing a great thing with uh, One Frame Link was working with, uh, I think it was Capcom fight, uh, Fighters that was streaming it. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm sure you can. But they teamed up with them, and they had text crawls for statistics. There needs to be more services like that, and esports will friggin' explode. Because that's what, <laughs> that's what people love about their sports, is they get to follow the statistics. It is a numbers game. They get to use it for betting and stuff like that and the more of these things that start coming out the more uh people i think are going to start gravitating towards esports so uh i really liked what evo did with um the one frame link uh partnership i mean yeah. i don't know if it's the same but i uh, you know watched a couple of hearthstone tournaments happen a few months ago and they've just started introducing um like the percentage of of get drawing this one card that will change the match and things like that no absolutely so, mm -hmm. So like yeah, statistics are yeah you know yeah it's a big poker thing. So yeah, the esports scene is you know is growing massively, and you know we're going to go into uh, game trend and stuff. But if you are a regular viewer to trip Twitch, you, you'll you'll probably know that basically the biggest games on there are, are, are League of Legends, you know, uh, Dota, CS:GO, which is you know, uh, quite a competitive uh, esports scene, I believe as well, and you yeah. know, things like Hearthstone as well. So. A lot of the big games are, are the esports, and that, and you know, Twitch is is the main platform for them. But it's really great that they come into uh, to televised channels um, to you know to give us a wider audience, you know, because yeah. games aren't aren't the thing that you, you give your kid to shut up, you know, to shut them up for ten minutes like Will does with his. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> right. um, so going back to Evo. Um... Talk about how fucking Daigo and Infiltration were out like insanely early out of the Ultimate Street Fighter 4 finals. Like, that was crazy. And then the guy that wins Ultimate Street Fighter 4 won with a pad. When was the last time that happened? Oh, not, not just any game pad, it was PS1. Yeah, a PS1 game pad. Like, how do you. No, I can't. There's certain combos and stuff that you need to hit, and the button placement, like, a game pad does not work with me. I'm so glad that I did eventually buy a fight stick, you know, arcade stick for, for myself. But it just amazes me that, you know, different people can f use different tools and, and get different results. Like, I could never execute any combos on a gamepad it, at You've all. You've got all that doing with a fight stick. I've watched you stream Street Fighter. You're awful. No, I am <laughs> bad, but I was even worse with just a controller. Yeah. So what does yeah. that tell you? Yeah, um, uh, it's awesome. Yeah. So, Will, did you catch any uh, any Evo action? I did. Uh, well, I caught a little bit of Marvel vs. Com Cop Cam, uh, yeah. Cap Capcom, Capcom, and then also a little bit of the Injustice. So, um, mainly in the 
the kind of the qualifier rounds uh, for Injustice and Marvel. Um, but I also caught the Marvel finals, which were freaking awesome oh, yeah. and that just amazing. amazing. You know, um, from the preview round, seeing I think it was Apology Man's uh, triple perfect. That was that was just crazy watching anybody get a triple perfect in a tournament scene. Just unbelievable being able to just chain um, basically one combo from the beginning to the end of the match was insane. Yeah. Yeah. And then Marvel is crazy. It's so fast paced. They have those infinite combos that if they can get you up, they're not going to let you down. Like watching uh, people that are real good with zero is intense. The lightning loops, the execution that's required it is so much fun to watch. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And then I watched a little bit of Injustice, but most of the people that I watch actually got knocked out early. Oh. So, you know, it's like, oh, you know, it was almost a whole new group of finalists. I think DJT won last year, um, and he made the finals, but that's about the only person in the finals that I remember from last year. So also a, a different kind of meta game on the heroes because there was a lot of heroes from the expansions or the kind of dlc heroes that came into injustice that weren't in uh the match last year so you didn't see anybody playing batgirl or zod or um I'm trying to think of some of the other well that's ones who, that they added that's uh that's the that was the, the final winner yeah the finals. <laughs> the finals was zod versus batgirl yeah and and so it's like just crazy to see all those things come through and and how much the game has changed since last year yeah my, my buddy bobski in chat is uh he's a huge fighting game fan he's saying rule of marvel of marvel don't get hit because once oh, you yeah. get that one hit you could potentially be done that You're could done. be the end of your match Easy. yep um all right uh i for me, uh, I know you like Injustice. For me, uh, what I'm watching most of the time when, when Evo comes around or fighting game tournaments come around is I, I watch Ultimate Street Fighter 4 and I watch Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom uh, 3. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to round out the top eights, give you guys the, the rankings. Um, so I'll go ahead and start with this is your Ultimate Street Fighter 4 rankings. So uh, at number one, Luffy. And again, not only did he win with a freaking... Uh, pad. He used a character that no one uses. He won with a rose. Awesome. Uh, then we have uh, number two, Bon Chan with Sagat. Uh, three is Razor uh, Fudo with Fei Long. Uh, four is Snake Eyes with Zangief. Five is Razor Gact with Fei Long. Uh, also tied for five is EG Ricky Ortiz. He used uh, Rufus and Rolento. Uh, seven, EG Momonchi is uh, Ken and Jury. And number eight, Hori Sako. He had used Elena, Evil Ryu, Gen, and Ibuki. Uh, Mac, how about uh, Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3? Uh, Ultimate Capcom versus uh, Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3. Uh, uh, first place was uh, Jay Wong. I guess he was using uh, Wolverine, Storm, and Akuma. Am I saying that right? Yep. All right. Uh, in second place was uh, NY Chris G. With Morgan, Doctor Doom, and Virgil, and I guess he switched over to Morgan, Magneto, and Doctor Doom. Um, third place, Filipino champ with uh, Magneto, Doctor Doom, uh, Doom, and Phoenix, and then uh, switched over to Magneto, Dormammu. Dormammu, I'm very bad at yep. these names. Dormammu. That's Dormammu right. and uh, Doctor Doom, uh, Morgan, Magneto, Doctor Doom. So I switched over to Morgan, Magneto, Doctor Doom. Yeah, uh, he had switched over a lot, didn't he? Yeah, a few adjustments. Uh... He was probably, I believe, Filipino champ. Uh, that was like the start of Justin Wong's climb uh, mm -hmm. to the championship. Um, so, okay. So he, he was kind of, he had some mind games that he was trying to get around. Oh, so he's playing the mind games. That's what we were trying to do last night. It didn't quite work out for us against nope. those bots. <laughs> oh, actually, we did win against the bots. I guess we're all good there. Trying to confuse uh, you. Number, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and fourth place, it was Ray Ray with Magneto, Doctor Doom, and Sentinel. Fifth place, oh, so uh, Ray Ray, he'd be cray cray. Ray Ray, Ray, so cray, cray, cray cray. cray. <laughs> it's a cray cray. Ray Ray is cray cray, man. All right, catch and now uh, fifth place is uh, Flocker. <laughs> he was using uh, Zero Virgil and Hawkeye, and then uh, switched over to Zero Dante and Virgil. So uh, I guess the Hawkeye wasn't working too well. He was the shittiest Avenger, anyways. Whatever. Um, 
Sixth place, uh, Jan with Hulk, uh, Shumagorath, and uh, Hagar. And then uh, Hagar, Sentinel, Shumagorath. Uh, just didn't like the Hulk. Yeah. Uh, seventh place, uh, Marn with Zero Virgil and Strider Hiru. And eighth place was uh, Insane with uh, Nova Spencer and Doctor Doom. Insane in the membrane. Insane. insane in the I love how he spells insane. I like that. Can we just like add that to the dictionary? We should. Yeah. Insane. Yep. No, that one. Insane. More American no. words in the dictionary. Yes, more American words <laughs> English in the dictionary. dictionary. All right, and uh, Will, why don't you go ahead and round out the injustice, God Among Us, uh, Gods oh, yes. Among Us, Toppy. All right, so number one, we've got Sonic Fox with Batgirl. And then uh, number two, falling just shy of the championship, was Pig of the Hunt, who may have been there last year. I recognize the name, but I can't tell if I uh, was uh, watching the earlier matches or later matches from last year. Uh, playing Zod, so two new characters, very cool. Uh, we have MIT88 with Deathstroke, Batgirl, and Aquaman. It's good to see Aquaman making a comeback. Uh, ooh, Pim Pim Jim with Hot Girl, Raven, and Shazam. Just kind of Shazam. Cool. Just Shazam. Play Shazam. 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 So it's kind of cool to see Shazam. We got a newbie Shazam. playing uh, Doomsday, also pretty cool. And GDT88 G -D -J -T playing Aquaman, Doomsday, his ever famous Green Lantern, and The Flash. And then we end up in. Uh, Seventh place with 16-bit uh, playing Catwoman and Emperor Ta or Emperor Theo playing Aquaman. All right, and guys. there you have it, Injustice. So that's going to do it for our esports section. Uh, remember, this is a new show. This is our first episode, episode 10. Um, mm -hmm. So if you guys have any feedback, if you guys would like to see something change, if you think we can add something to these segments, feel free to send an email to at, or not to at, but to... No, shtgaming at gmail.com. So we are open to all feedback and would love to hear from you guys, but this is really a segment that we're, we're proud of and, and we're going to keep pushing. So, But now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to Game Trends. Game Trends, it's a trending game. That's oh, a, yeah. All right, great. We got a bumper, guys. I'm going to get some music. I'm going to rip bumper. that audio out, and now we got, we got a bumper. No, what the Game Trends... <laughs> trends section is is going to be kind of like uh, a look back on sales a look forward on releases and some talk about what's been going on and what people have been playing uh using uh services like twitch and raptor to kind of track the consumer trends so i'll start off by uh reviewing the two weeks ago sales because of how we record on a sunday i don't have the numbers until monday so this is sit game uh What's been selling for week ending 714? So, number 10, up 5, Battlefield 4, Activision. Uh, up 2 to 9, Tamadachi Life, Nintendo. Up 1 to 9, Minecraft, PS3, oh, or God, up 1 to 8, why? Minecraft, PS3 why? edition. Because <laughs> this, this game has not come off this fight. damn list. Ever. Plus, 10 year olds have got way too much money. Yep. They need to. They need. They really need to be a cut. And they in the keep world. spending it on Minecraft. Well, I'm not Minecraft, saying Hitler. The mind I'm the not crafts. saying Hitler had a, had a good idea with the Jews, but there needs okay. to be a Okay. <laughs> yeah, next one. Next. So up three to seven. Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Uh, staying stagnant at <sighs> six. Call of Duty Ghosts. Down one to five. Titanfall. Up one to four. Wolfenstein: The New Order. Down, uh, stagnant at three, FIFA 14, and then down one to two, Sniper Elite 3, and up one to one, Watch Dogs. I can't believe this is the number one selling game last week. God damn it. Oh well. Well, that's pretty How close to say one, that. Though, Do you right? say Ubisoft or Ubisoft? I say Ubisoft. Yeah, Ubi. I've always said Ubisoft as well. And I know a lot of people that say Ubi. Yeah, because they're wrong. Like Ubisoft is like Ubi wrong. Away. I think, I think you did that wrong, though. Like, it, my feedback is you shouldn't say stagnant at three. Like, that's a good position. Like, and if they yeah. stayed there, that's not stagnant. That's that means stable, that it, it's stable, still selling. Good. Yeah, fine. Yeah, stable. Feedback we talked stable about it. Three. It's very stable. All right, it's very stable think, at three. You think that now that the World Cup's over, that FIFA's going to drop? 
No, yeah, no, 2015 will come out. Yeah, yeah, 2015 is about to come out. So, yeah, so it'll it'll be I mean, it's amazing that it's still this high. So it, 14 will drop. It, it'll just be replaced with. 15. But um, obviously, we had uh, the World Cup, so that would be a, a a thing that kept the game selling. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I'm really surprised you know, that Watch Dogs is one, but I mean, yeah, it's really. Too, like... Uh, Divinity huh. came out, but uh, this is not reflecting that that week. But I don't know. I guess nothing came out. I was, maybe Wolfenstein. I would expect to kind of be higher than Watch Dogs at this point, based on. I'd expect the reviews, Sniper Elite but... Three to be too. So. I know, they, but it had just come out um, when these from these sales numbers. So keep yeah. that in mind. But probably next week on the show we'll take a look at uh, Raptors monthly top played chart we'll go over the top 10 from that as well as uh, sales from week ending uh, July 17th um, but to talk about next week so like we've already discussed on the show Hearthstone expansion hits the 22nd for PC and mobile Ollie Ollie for the PC uh, the first chapter of the Lost Crowns trilogy DLC for Dark Souls 2 comes out for PC PS3 and Xbox 360 and Odd World, new and tasty for the PS4. And then, I remember Odd World on the PS1. Yeah, it, this is. Right. Was it PS1 or PS2? Was that little cube with the eyes, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Gollum? It's pretty old. And what I hear is this is not a remake, but it is a remake. I'm confused. Like this isn't like... new, a new game, but it is a new. I don't know. I guess we'll have to check it out. I'll have to look yeah, into yeah. it more, but. Uh, so Oddworld New and Tasty and then you Xbox One uh, folks finally get into the Destiny beta uh, on Wednesday oh, finally so you can come join yay. me yay on maybe your Xboxes you know, maybe oh. eventually Destiny will stop sucking PlayStation stick but anyways <laughs> yeah. so, thanks Bungie you know Xbox only kind of Microsoft only kind of made you what you were but whatever you know yeah yep. nope Same. Uh, PlayStation is the place to be if you want to play Destiny with me. Nobody wants to play with you because you're sucking game. Nope. You're all by yourself. <laughs> um, yeah. You all all by myself. At least I have a Don't friend. All right. So that's all we have for game trends this week. Let's head over to feedback. So, uh, oh, right, actually, hold on. We we've got a bit of a early, late feedback here. Uh, it appears, Mr. Cool, you guys are awesome. Especially that Mori guy. Best show ever. Everyone, at... and then it, it stops. I don't. Stops. I don't know. Just what did stops. you want, Mr. Cool? Why did, why did the feedback stop? I don't know what happened. But, uh, no, we, we do want to feature feedback uh, from you guys, so feel free to send an email to noshtgaming at gmail.com. Hit us up on Twitter at no SHT gaming. Uh, you can hit up the host individually. Uh, Mac is at Macardia. M A K A R A D I A. No. M A K A R D I. Yeah. It's M A K A R D I A, as in, you know, me. Macardia. Yeah. Uh, Will, you can find at Sovereign. That's yep. at S O V R U N. More Q is at more Q of Tamriel. If you need me to spell that out for you, then go to hell. Uh, <laughs> Supa, me, is at jsupa508. Uh, and really, guys, that's all we have for you. Uh, thanks for joining us live at twitch.tv slash noshtgaming. Don't forget, this show will be available through iTunes and YouTube on youtube.com slash noshtgaming channel. Uh, and with that, it's time to say goodbye, everyone. No agendas. Mac? No no agendas. And uh, just, you know, Super wouldn't do it. More Q is M O R I C U O F T A M R I E L. I got your back, bro. Thank you, Matt. And yes, no agendas, but as John said, we're going to push esports. Yes. Ooh! So, thanks, guys, for turning out for the show. Those of you in the live chat. Thank you guys for checking this out on YouTube and iTunes. Please hit us up with some feedback and subscribe to our channels and subscribe to the feed because we are going to have some great times with the core ahead. Uh, That's it, and we'll see you guys next week. Send porn. Bye. (laughs) Later. Bye. See ya. I love you.